Udi, uh, on the right watch, NATO straps are pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of wearing them. I think they can look cool. I don't really like wearing them, though. I'm quite keen on leather, uh, quite keen on rubber straps, uh, or steel bracelets, but whenever, I, whenever I've worn a watch on a NATO, it doesn't last very long. I don't like the feel of them on my wrist. I, that, there's not much movement, you know. They Obviously, they fit very snugly, but... Um, that zombie must be aggroed. He's jumping over, right? He, he must be aggroed. They look good, and I know I understand people, why people like them, but I'm not a huge fan of the way they wear, personally. Am I interested in Armour 4? I'll definitely be playing it when it comes out. I played Armour Reforger the day it came out and had a lot of fun for a day. I just didn't think there was enough there to play it again. I, I may try the modded version of DayZ on there at some point, but I'm just, like, holding fire for now. I like the look of a NATO strap. I think it depends on the watch as well. They, for me, they only go with certain watches, you know, like... Like, I, it doesn't really matter, but something like, say, uh... Uh, a, a, a Speedy Moon Watch or an Explorer. Or an Explorer 1, by the way, not the others. Can't do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die if I. Can you knock me on, Con? Fucking hell. That sucks. How did he do that? Yeah, I do, Gravy. That's a fact. I didn't see what you said, by the way. Uh, Griff, Jamie, Limondor, UK Tam, thank you. Fuck me. This is the problem with Bohemia. Hell yeah, I have a massive problem with Bohemia. No, they made a game that changed my life. I can't stand them. They, they're, still, they're still fixing bugs, and unfortunately, as somebody did say earlier, oh, maybe a bit sarcastically, but if you're adding new things to the game, you're also you potentially breaking me, things so as well, you know? Started streaming Day Z. Thanks for all the great content. Blazing, good luck, dude. Hope it goes okay, dude. Uh, Ruha, thank you for the prime. Blazing, thank you for the resub. This could make me sick, and that would suck fucking balls. What did I just say then? I don't know. That's the point. I missed it. I saw the bit where you said he hates me, or I saw somebody else replying to it, but I didn't see the other message. You don't You don't get to be all arsy when I miss messages, the same as no one else does, by the way. <laughs> Oh shit, now I'm sick. Look, that was your fault, Gravy. You've made me fucking sick now. Now I've got to get fucking meds or I'm dead. This sickness is much more serious, unfortunately. I don't know where I can go to get... I'm going to have to go to Toppolin, maybe. <clears throat> How about when I miss sub alerts? Yeah, well, same thing. It's not possible to catch them all, right? I really do try, but I'm incredibly proud to have, like, 6,000 subs, but... 6,000 resubs spread over 20 streams. That's a lot of resubs. <laughs> it's like 300 a day, right? Like, it's not... It's just not possible. It, it, I might be in something protracted and miss some. It's... it's yeah. Lone Wolf, uh, yeah, well, not just that. Tetracycline would cure it, by the way. Tetracycline cures it in phase one and phase two. There's a guy. Oh shit, thought he was dropped. 
I really thought he was dropped. I thought I'd hit him. I thought he dropped. I think it was the same dude. I don't think there's two. Could have a stab vest on and he tanked it. This is not a smart move coming into the open. I'm still doing it though. I felt like that shot hit. Seen him running behind. <coughs> will he come up the wall or will he go into town? <gasps> Shit. <coughs> I definitely hit him then. That sucks. I doubt I killed him though. Maybe should have used the Mosin for the first shot, I would have dropped him. <sighs> it's annoying. First firefight of the day, and I lost it, but yeah, at least we cured the sickness. It's possible to spawn relatively near there. That was Muratin. I might, I might try and get a spawn nearer. This is Brenner. This is no good. I might try and get back, possibly. I know, I'm sure I hit him as he hit me, but it depends what he had. I may not have killed him, because mine wasn't a headshot. So he might not be dead, but I'm, I'd like to go back just to find out more than anything else, you know? Like, if I have to get new gear, I don't really care, but I'd love to know if he died or not. That would be kind of cool. I don't really understand how the first shot didn't hit, to be honest. I, I don't really fully understand it, but there we go. It didn't, did it? So, no point crying over... over spilt cartridges so bright are the colours well this is just the colour palette of Livonia it is brighter especially when the sun's out Blazing thank you very much for the four months once again Ruha, Griff, Jamie thank you the fuck are all the zombies there's one Zombum, zombum, zombum. Three, four, five, six, six hits. I don't know if it's any different than it used to be. You can adjust brightness if need be on 121. Isn't that just of the UI, though, Lone Wolf? I don't think it's of the game, is it? I think they, don't they still leave that to your own monitor settings? It's no good. Make the same game look so easy. Well, I did die, Digital Void, but yeah, I'm fairly relaxed about it, though, yeah. I make it look easy to get killed by the other dude. I wish I'd used the Mosin for the first shot. I really do. That would have been smart, really, wouldn't it? But never mind. I didn't. That was magic. You died and lost two subs. <laughs> well, uh, I actually started this stream on something like uh, 6.030 or something like that. But that's that's how streaming is. It goes up, it goes down. Uh, it's all part of it, you know. It'll, it might go up a bit later on, or it might go down a bit. You just don't know, but it's all good. <laughs> Is 
this is going to take a while. <coughs> Surprised I didn't get the foot symbol for that. So we're doing a lot of explaining of the foot symbol. I think that's going to be a while, but I think it's fairly self-explanatory, really. It's just a warning that your leg is damaged. It's going to come up now. No, it's not. I'm going to need another one. Fucking hell. It's a warning that you're close to breaking your leg is basically all it is. It does, there's nothing new in the game other than the symbol. That system was still in place before. You just didn't get a warning about it. Oh, fucking hell. This is not working. There'll be zombies over there. I want to give myself the foot thing now. It's just not far enough. The water isn't softening the fall. It doesn't make any difference unless you fall into water that's higher than you. It just feels like a challenge now. I want to fucking do it. I can go like 50 metres up the road and kill myself to Zeds almost certainly really easily. I think I'm going to do that now. I give up. This is dull. Thing is, it doesn't take very long to heal, so as I'm running round and coming up the bridge, it's it's healing a little bit as well. Back to Bailey, thanks for the bits, uh, and the resub as well, dude. Thank you very much. I was just giving the zombies chance to spawn in is all. He looks like him. Hit. You suck. <laughs> uh, Susan Anti Fay, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Thanks for the follows. You can't spawn very, very close to Muratin. Uh, this is no good. Oh, this one really sucks. Does it? That's. Sixteen months of free Prime subs. How lucky are you? I'm going to take this one. Laughing, rolling on the floor, laughing, rolling on the floor, laughing. I'm going to take this one and run. It's basically this way, about maybe three kilometers. I didn't have any water on me. Uh. But I can I can get there relatively quickly from here. The town we looted after the after the we looted there, right? And then I came this way over to the town here. I can just quickly drink at the well there, and then I'll run over the hill towards Muratin and pray that my loot's there. Yeah, Radax spawn would have been the best spawn, I think. But I could try another twenty times and not get Radax, so I'm just I'm going from here. Uh, Kick, thank you very much for the support. Uh, 60 months of free Prime subs. Thank you for using them with me. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, Toothy, thank you very much for the Prime as well. Foot symbol repaired right before you unconned. Yeah, it's, it doesn't count from the zombies, though. Sometimes you just get one hit from a Zed. If it hits you in the leg, then you get the foot symbol. Blazer, thank you for the four months, dude. I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. I've got boigas. If we all react with the Twitch thing, will that push the stream to new people? I saw the reacting on my homepage the other day, Riley. I don't actually know what it does. I probably have had an e uh, not, not an email, but an update on Twitch about it. But 
I, I don't know what the react thing does, if I'm honest. What type of boigers? Beef, beef boigers. Obviously, they'll be in uh, they'll be in pizza breads because I can't have real bread. So glu gluten-free pizza breads with cheese, uh, tomatoes, lettuce, ketchup, and love. Well, they're 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 like packet burgers, Cyprus from from Aldi actually. They're they're skinny uh, burgers which make like let reduce fat, but they taste amazing actually. They're really good. Onions don't really go in the pita breads the same, are match. There's no uh, there's no bread to absorb the oniony goodness. It don't, they don't go so well. Isn't there gluten in the burgers? Not not normally Firestarter. Uh, if you got real cheap burgers that were like like flumped up with uh, with breadcrumbs, you might get gluten. But there's no gluten in beef, obviously. So if you get a tall, half decent meat, like same with sausages, if you get half decent sausages, there's no gluten in them. I have been using the same settings, bubble butt. Yep. Yes. What's the plan for today on my four month anniversary? Uh, I thought you'd perhaps take me uh, take me out for uh, for a nice meal, wine and dine. Uh, what's the plan? I'm just looking for the flag. That, I'm looking for the flag. That's the main thing. Hex aren't too bad, Lind. I quite like heck. I, I I like something. I like kind of Cumberland sausages. I like peppery ones. Really, they don't need to be heck for me, but they are pretty decent. Heck sausages, if you put them in pita bread, it's a little bit more similar to a kebab in a way. They're they're, they're all right. <laughs> Nasty Overlord. I have to say, I was surprised with how good that was when I had it in Five Guys. I I was expecting it to be shite, and it wasn't. Five ads, Doc. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, for the repetition. I play 90 seconds of ads every half an hour, so if you just came in, you just were unlucky. You probably can't hear me because they're playing right now, so I don't even know why I'm saying it, because I'm exactly on the five minutes. <clears throat> do we do the Five Guys meta? Firestarter. Never go to Five Guys on your own, right? Always go with somebody else. If you go with two people, order one regular fries and one cup. One refill drink. Every five guys you ever go in will give you two cups anyway. So it reduces the price to a point where it's fine. Uh, you'll end up paying restaurant prices. If you went to a restaurant and ordered two Cokes and 11 or 12 pound burger and chips in like a brewer's fare, you'd pay the same as five guys. Five guys probably would taste better and you'll get just as much chips and you'll get two drinks too. Five guys, one cup, yeah. It, it's they they know exactly how it is. So if you order, if you go in at like lunchtime and you ask for one refillable cup and there's two of you, they always give you two. And if they don't, well, if it's your other half, you can just share the same cup, right? But they, I've never had it where they don't. Doc, uh, on the subject of the ad, by the way, I tried to reply, but the ad was playing. So again, repetition once more, everyone else. I play 90 seconds of adverts every half an hour, so whether it's five or it's one, it's 90 seconds. So you get one long one or five little ones. That's how it works. <laughs> Why five guys have peanuts all over the floor? Well, that's the that's the bastards dropping them, but they they fry their chips in uh, peanut oil, and they they it, their thing is that it makes their fries. Sorry, they fry their fries in peanut oil. And, it, and they, they believe it make, gives their fries a unique flavour. And they are good. I quite like them, personally. But So the peanuts, I think, is that you get them, they give them you for free. But it's really to hammer home the message as to their USP, if you like. Five Guys' unique thing is that they're like the Nando's of burgers. So the unique thing is that the meat's never frozen. It's always fresh, a, a fresh meat burger on the day. You don't get frozen, like regurgitated, like frozen in a van kind of shit. Uh, so the meat is always of a good quality, and also the fries are fried in uh, peanut oil. That's yeah. If you press right click on your right click, it goes straight down A D S. I never do that though, but you can, yeah. 
right, I think that's enough for now. I want to get across to the. Uh, I want to get across to the loot. I'm starving. I think I had a little bit of food on my body. It might have only been unknown food, but I'm pretty sure I had some. I left some ex Xmas lights, picky butter. Shit. I was planning on uh, making them battery powered and putting them up both legs with a little arrow pointing to my peen. Thirty pounds for spaghetti. Holy shit, Merlin! That's one special five guys. <laughs> Unknown food. I don't. It never hardly touches the sides for me. It does. It, it gives you energy, but I don't think it's very high. You're getting wa watch ads, are you, Mike? Holy shit! Danny, uh, that's that's interesting. You, you are meant they are improving the ads. You're meant to get picture in picture now, so you can still see the stream. Obviously, you don't get the sound, but you can still see the stream in the corner and, and still interact with the chat. So they are making it better than it used to be. I know lots of people are really funny about ads, but it turns out companies and people like to earn a living. You know, I, I, I maybe I understand why people begrudge Amazon making a living a bit because they might be doing pretty well already. But yeah. Armatron are not a brand I'm familiar with, to be honest. Goat Prince, yeah, I, I, I kind of agree, but it's easy to say that, you know. These things cost money and take time and, you know, like, Twitch, Amazon took over Twitch and they had adverts then. But back then, when it was not owned by Amazon, they had a very different ethos than now, you know, like, once you're owned by Amazon, you have to make profit, you know, like, you can't just carry on treading water and making a loss or whatever. Thirty or forty bags of tatoes. What's taters? What's taters, hobbitses? <laughs> Fish nasty, dude. That doesn't sound like fun, by the way. Picky, that makes sense. Just sub to everyone. Yeah, I can see that. No one tell him about Twitch Prime. I need that. I need that monies. <laughs> Am I going to find my body? I don't see his body there. I think he survived, so I'm going to be looted. I think I'm fairly close. Where's the other hay bale? The hay bale's there, so I'm about... It was about this level. Shit, he's dropped a blade. What? This is the guy. He must have died. Who the fuck killed him? No wonder he killed me. He had a blaze. I think... Oh no. Please don't ruin my vest. I maybe injured him and he got killed by the zombies. That's possible. Oh. 
I'm dropping this stuff on the floor because I don't want... Uh, Is that my body up there? I was way further up there. I think he got killed on the way to me. I bet my loot isn't looted. I bet he got killed from behind by zombies. He probably got got tagged by me. I may made myself sick here. He probably got tagged by me and then went running halfway up the hill. He's dying facing like he was running away. He's not looted. I bet he was killed by the zombies. No, I am looted. That's not my bag. I don't really know. That's not my body, is it? That's not my body. I had a I had a press vest, but I don't remember having the boots. That's not my balaclava either. I don't understand. I didn't have the shotgun. That's not me. Somebody else showed up and maybe killed him. I don't really know. That's my body. Which isn't looted. That's crazy! The dude I started firing at was a lot more geared than I thought. Fuck me. You're right, it was totally worth dying. Most of the clothes were ruined, maybe not the trousers, but I'm not particularly fucked around those for now. That's so weird. I didn't check my bag, I can't even remember what bag I had, but... Yeah, I'm getting there, uh, Gravy, I'm right in the middle of shit. I know I've missed some alerts, and that that's a huge one as well, so thanks for the heads up, it, it does help, but... Uh, Chops, thank you for the Prime. Chops707, thank you for the Prime. JP, thank you for the Prime as well. Cheers both of you guys for using your Prime subs on my channel. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Uh, and on top of that, uh, Kenny, dude, thank you very much for the gifted sub bomb. That is insanely kind, man. Thank you. Cheers for the gifted subs. T 25, no less. Holy fuck, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Riley, then, as well, dude. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, right in the shit for the time being, you know? I did have a Glock on my body, but I don't think I can be asked with that, either. Okay, that's... Uh, they're pouches. They're safe in the pouches. What else do I want out of here, then? We'll take the EpiPens. We'll take that. I don't need that. I've got loads of them, haven't I? I've got two. What an upgrade that was. Holy shit.
Probably don't need this meat. What's this? That's pristine. Let's have that one. Uh, did you kill someone or why is the latest kill from yesterday? Uh, I didn't kill anyone. I shot someone, but he died and somebody else did as well. I don't know if they traded with each other. I shot a dude with a plate carrier who I've now found his dead body. And there's another dead body since, so I think someone else showed up behind. And maybe kind of shot each other. Uh, I still think the plate carrier guy was finished off by zombies after maybe being hit again. He may not have even got hit by the other player. He might have done, he might not. It's hard to know, but... I don't really give a fuck. I've got his loot now, that's the main thing. I need some better clothes. We're going to worry about that in a sec. Well, I know I hit him, Admiral. I, I, I hit him. I, I hit him when I died. You can see it in the last death clip. I'm, I know I hit him. I, I can't remember... I, I can't remember realising he had a plate carrier or not, to be honest, but... That's possibly what happened. He might have... Well, he might not have just killed the other. He might have been firing it and missed once or twice. Oh, fuck. He might have missed once or twice. I get the... I meant to get the uh, can opener. Yeah, he might have fired, missed once or twice. And then killed him. And then kind of got overrun by zombies. Yeah, he might not even have been hit by the other dude. The other dude had a scorpion, you know. He wasn't exactly... Uh, he wasn't exactly packing heat with the scorpion. I'd love to have been like had a bird's eye view of that to see what happened. That would be cool. So I was starving to death before we showed up. Which is why I'm uh, fucking around a bit more than I normally would. He had Tetra. I'm not going in that open field for Tetra. I'm not even going to go to the military base for loot either. I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to take this upgrade and fuck off. I'm not sticking around to get killed by someone. I th that's what I'm thinking. I think one of the dead guys will show up any minute. But they won't see me because I've got a bright orange dry bag. It's the helmet though. I had a helmet, didn't I? I really don't want to go back into the field. There's a lot of zombies. I, even if I've missed loot, I, I don't really want to go back. There's two tetracycline there. I, I don't think I need them anyway. I really don't. I'll take them, especially for you. Look, but I don't think I need them. I know I had a cold twice earlier, but I doubt I'll get a cold this time because I'm full health. Already got gloves, face mask, hat. I know I've got new spawns clothes, but and I'm also about to make a fire. I very much doubt I'll get a cold. I'm going to go this way. I'm, I'm done. I'm just going to leave. They may run back, and somebody may get some sloppy seconds, but they won't get the good shit. We've got it. We've got the sloppy seconds. His blaze is badly damaged, and he doesn't have a cleaning kit. That's uh, that's a that's a target for us then. We got a target. Got to try and find ourselves a cleaning kit. My main my main aim today is to find the flag. Anyway, you know, I'm after a flag more than anything else. 
I did have a Mosin as well. I had a Mosin on my body and I've got a PU scope and a load of Mosin rounds, but likewise, I ain't going back. Did they reduce the amount of cleaning kits? I don't think so, dude. I think it's just luck of the draw. You know, I've, I've had days where I can't find one, and I've had days where I've had like four and had the chance for another four or ten. Starfleet or Klingon flag? Uh, Muller and his merry men flag. Blaze uses 308. So it's, it's very decent. It's not quite as powerful as the Tundra or the Savannah. Which also use 308. But it has other advantages, particularly the double shot, so you can fire two shots at once. It's only ten past four. Fuck. Big Larry, uh it's uh, it's a flag for an event. My last three YouTube YouTube videos leads up to info on the flag, but it's it's a permanent fixture in Livonia, based on an event myself, uh, Muller, and Sauer went in. So it, it's like a flag. Muller had the design; he had the kind of say so, but it's kind of our team flag. I heard having a holster on your plate increases your hitbox. Is there truth in that? I have no idea, Narco. That that would be a thing for Wobo to test. Wobo and the Wobo Sapiens. Uh, I have no clue. Tyran, yeah, it's it's every Livonia map, which is cool, you know, it's really really cool. Uh, there was there's three. There's one for Adam Crook. There was one for Holly Rex, and then one for Muller that includes me and Sour. going to check down here. This is the sort of place where we could get lucky on a, a maybe not a weapon cleaning kit, but if it was leather sewing kitty, maybe weapon weather kit, sorry, a weapon cleaning kit, you never know, but if it has that kind of vibe down here, we'll have a look, see what we can see. Dajan, I've not seen any news today. I've been double busy all day today. I ain't really seen any news, so I don't think they can officially sign anyone yet because the transfer window is not open, but I guess they could maybe have it agreed with Brighton and have it agreed with the player, ready for when they can. But I think it might be June the 1st they can sign players, maybe, something like that. Have I ever met Sour? No. Not in real life, no. Sour's uh, right down in Cornwall, kind of way, I believe, and I'm all in, all the way over in Suffolk, Sustice, Shire. June 14th, ah, okay. I did say it smelt of leather sewing kits, didn't I? There's one. Probably means it won't have a hunting... Uh, sorry, a weapon cleaning kit, but there we are. You are bleeding. Yeah, I know. I was just testing. Just testing to see who's paying attention. I hadn't realised. Fuck me. Was that from a block, then? Did that zombie actually hit me? It must have hit me, but apparently they can bandage you when you block as well. I don't know. He hit me once, okay good, so it wasn't blocked. Not many bullets in that, we, sh we should probably, uh, probably reload. Reload. You're helping Muller, well I, I know Muller's been looking for it too, but I wanted to find it, so yeah I'm having a go. I don't know if you'd call it helping though, oh fuck I did that well didn't I? I'm only going to take one armband, I'm going to throw the rest away. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to find one. 
I think it's cool we found any of them. We found one of them yesterday, right? To find one of the lights out things was cool, but uh, I need to find my one. That's not mine. Am I going to make a flagpole? I did think I might, but yeah, I'm going to need a hell of a lot of stuff. Stuff. I'm going to need a hell of a lot of stuff, see? But yeah, I would quite like to make a flagpole. It depends where I find it and how I'm feeling, but yeah, I wouldn't mind. Once you've made a flagpole, can you bring the flag back down again? You can, that's good. Is there anything more the devs can do to make the game more survivably without it being just more punitive? I think so. Is that a zombie or a player? It's hard to know, you know. I feel like there's more things they could do, but it, it, I'd have to really sit down and think. I think I still think there's things they could do to the loot economy. It was a zombie. They can still balance the loot economy in ways that make it feel more... Like, like it's, it's pretty easy to get something like an SKS or better with minimal effort. I feel like they could massively increase the coastal guns, remove shotguns, not completely, but make them smaller in terms of how many there are. Shotguns are very powerful, right? So uh, making shotguns a little bit less often and not on the coast, making the coast be like repeaters, sporters, BK-18s, magnums, pistols, scorpions and stuff, you know, making the coast be more survivally. I do need tools like that. If I'm going to make a flagpole, I'm going to need an axe. <sighs> uh, th there's other things they could do, like, j without going crazy, like, like we were talking about it yesterday, but making it so you can only carry uh, guns in your backpack. SMGs and smaller fit in your bag and you can use them. Anything bigger than an SMG, like an SKS or a Mosin or a Winchester or an assault rifle, anything that goes in your bag has to be dismantled, but you can't use it. Uh, they could go hardcore and make it so that the, on your back, one slot's only for a melee weapon and the other one takes a gun. Uh, they, they, could, they could make it uber much, much more survivally with only a small amount of tweaks if they wanted to. But, I know people won't enjoy some of those things, but I, I think it would be good. Yeah, arm, broken arms, definitely. They can they can flesh out the meds more, can't they? You know they. There's other things they could do to the med medical system, I suppose, too. Yeah, defo. They should add more gore blood when people are shot. I think there's a there's a gamble with that with regards to the game rating in countries around the world, you know, like... Where did that come from? I don't, oh, it was in my hands when once I picked the axe up. Like, it might get, like, X-rated or banned if they go too gory, if that makes sense. I think they... They probably have to be careful with stuff like that, to some extent, I believe. Yeah, D-Bear, as soon as you're reloading, then you start moving. It, it does get... I did it so often. high insulation. Those ones are best. We'll take the new ones. Hmm. Did we kill someone? Pingo? No, I ran back and the guy I'd shot that killed me had uh, 
died. There was another dead guy. So the guy that had killed me, I'd hit him with my uh, with my SSG. He had a plate carrier, so he tanked it. Uh, and then he'd come up the hill a little bit, and then he'd got in a firefight with somebody else who he'd killed. And then I think he'd been killed by zombies, by the look of it. Uh, so when I got back, there was two more dead bodies and all of the loot. So now it's my loot. What is 75 hard? Well, I'm doing 75 uh, lukewarm or whatever you want to call it. I'm doing, I'm doing 75 uh, flaccid. So the version I'm doing is not the full bore one. I'm doing 75 flaccid, uh, which is this. So uh, repetition. We could maybe try to clip this if I can do it under 30 seconds. Maybe I don't know. But so what I'm doing is no alcohol for 75 days, no cheats at all. So no chocolate, no crisps or potato chips if you call them that uh, no takeaways no fast food uh, have to drink a gallon of water a day have to read 10 pages from a book a day uh, and have to do more than 45 minutes exercise outdoors per day that's the that's what I'm doing and the difference between the regular one and what I'm doing is that you're meant to actually do two lots of 45 minutes exercise a day and I don't have the time or the the inclination but I can't do that because like on a 12 hour stream day I just can't physically do it uh, hello. hello I'm going to run <laughs> oh, there was two but the one at the back had his gun out I don't want to take any chances I didn't think that would go well. I thought the guy with the in the back would not help me. Been a bit too blase here, I think. Gonna wait for him to deaggro. One and only that was a zombie dude, I think.
Oh, no way. No way that suppressor's aggroed them. That sucks. I know where he is. I'm going to try and come round. I've still got the EpiPen. He's in that log cabin there, I think. He may have come out now. I don't know. There's another zombie there. That one. I guess the suppressor aggroes when you fire multiple shots. I already know that. He went in there. <laughs> he may not still be in there. He was definitely in there. Those zombies were running around the outside of it. They were aggroed onto him, weren't they? I reckon he's probably hiding in the right side of that building. pleased with the positioning on that that was cool to be in here what an what a cool little spot to be in there that is beautiful <laughs> I've come to the middle, uh, and the simple reason is, if there was somebody else, if you're on either side, if you're in the ends, you can get killed through the slots in the windows. Now, someone has to come to the door, you know, like, if I'm on the side there, someone can kill me from behind, or any, there's four slots, so if you're at either end, you can be killed from either side through the slot. Bland, thank you for the 35 months. Aldred, thank you very much. Link2, uh, thank you very much. Gravy, cheers for the gifted sub as well, dude. That was really cool. That was like a, a cool little moment. That that feels almost like one minute shorts worthy, you know, like that, don't don't chase down people who don't chase down kid people who don't try to kill you or some bollocks like that, you know. I doubt he's on con. I don't think he had a vest on. I think he'll be dead. It was only a single shot, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he'd be dead. This 
isn't easy. Take one. It better not be three, though. I'll be annoyed. I've just put a bit of work in to not aggro them. That was cool as fuck. The, su the block noise is a little bit similar to the suppressed shot noise. Well, more like a suppressed impact on your body, isn't it? You know, like when you get shot by a, a bullet you weren't expecting, that's the kind of noise where it makes no imp it makes an impact on you. It sounds very similar to that, doesn't it? Probably is the same sound file, maybe. I don't know, but... It What's the point of the noise? Uh, well, it makes sense that it makes a noise. One sec. Uh, they've added. Uh, they've added the ability to uh, get take a bleed while you're. Uh, you can be you can be made to bleed while while you're blocking. So the sound is to let you know that you've blocked, you've taken a hit, and it's possible you might bleed as a result, kind of thing, you know. So that I think it makes sense. If you're blocking, it kind of makes sense. There's some kind of audible uh, sound for that. I think that's kind of okay. Or oh, you only have a torch, don't I? Boots does he have? Shit boots. Picked up the bastard jacket. Yeah, of the vanilla bags, it's definitely my favourite bag, so we're definitely having that. So I'm carrying all these melee weapons, and I, maybe I don't need to. But there, are, there is method in my madness, and that is that uh, if I'm going to make a flagpole... I need, I need that. I, if I'm going to make a flagpole, I need these tools. I need to be able to get the stones. You can't get stones with a shovel, so I'm going to need to get the stones with the uh, the pickaxe. And then I'm going to need the axe to get the logs, and then we're going to have to try and somehow construct a flagpole. And all of that is irrelevant if I don't find the flag in the first place. Funky, I'm not surprised. I mean, 3-0 down and winning three, winning on penalties after getting back to 3-all is... Uh, that was... It was crazy. I, I watched that. I, I was working in Powerhouse at the time, and I was meant to be going down the pub to watch it, and at the last minute, I I said I I was just going to watch it at home because I didn't want to listen to all the sh all the twat shouting at the telly. And uh, at three 0 down, some people I used to work with, I had about six or seven text messages from people I used to work with, all ripping the piss like, "No wonder you didn't come out, ha ha ha, fucking ha, ha, all this," like giving it the biggin about how happy they were. And at half time, I turned my phone off and carried on watching the game. And then at three two down, I put I put my phone back on. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of cool. That was insane. <laughs> what is the lights out flag? 
I need to get more people watching my YouTube videos, you know. I really need to get more people watching my YouTube videos. And they're doing well, but yeah, it, it's it's to do with the, the Lights Out event, which was the three-part series that just finished on Sunday. Uh, but it's an in-game item added by the devs, but it relates to the uh, event that just came on. You mean add tube, blimey monkey. <laughs> Yeah, I can kind of see your point a bit. I, I, I obviously, uh, I, I am the beneficiary of those ads, right? It's partly how I pay the mortgage and everything else. But uh, they are going to the well a little bit much with duplicate ads and longer ads and things. I think they need to be careful. You can repair the pickaxe with the sharpening stone, yeah. Adam Crook was one of the three winners. Peppy, Pepper, sorry, Holly, uh, Holly Rex. We found her flag yesterday, and those two guys were on the same team. And then uh, the, the other person was Muller. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not checking out the YouTube videos, there there is normally weekly videos, and some of them are good. You know, especially the ones on Cooper makes. So, uh, yeah, if you do, if you're not on my YouTube, have a look if you don't mind. You know, like. There's fairly regular YouTube videos. There has been for nine years, you know, like... If I'm not streaming and you're a lost what to do, there's loads of cool streamers out there to check out, but there's also all my vids as well. You need a sledgehammer to bang the first log in, do you? You sure? That fucking sucks. You need quite a lot of tools then. An axe to get the logs. Pickaxe to get the... I guess you could use a sledgehammer. So I already had a sledgehammer, didn't I? I, I should have kept that. It was badly damaged, but... Yeah. Medium. Thank you, dude. Can't use a hatchet instead of a sledge. I don't, know, I don't think you can probably put the log in with a hatchet. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. I really enjoyed that little thing. That's cool. It was only, they weren't very geared, those guys, but I obviously did run away. I wasn't trying to kill them. I was like, I said hello. He said hello. I saw his mate in the background with his gun out and thought, fuck this, I'm out, you know? And I think that was the right approach, clearly, because if I'd stood still, I think his mate would have killed me with that Vega. It chambered Vega. If he landed the shot clean, would I'd be in deep shit. Mark Sando, but someone could just come along and take the flag off, though, you know? Sorry, guys, one sec. I wish Twitch would make it easier for me to see messages. Like, find messages by name. Uh, Scoobs, not yet. I'm hoping we'll find it. I think we're going to have to look in, uh, have a look in at Shitsville over here, toppling. Where would I erect the flagpole? Fuck knows. To be honest, I might just do it in the middle of nowhere. What I really want to do is see it. I don't really give a shit that other people see it. I'm definitely going to try Kim C. Hero, but I'm trying to find the flag first. Have I been to Tissier in 121? Uh, I've went on experimental, I'm pretty certain. I've not been on stable because I've only done Livonia. Yeah, you can do that on Gorf. You can do that, but what happens with me is I see somebody reply to someone. So, say, for, for, 
uh, for example, uh, there's a viewer called Shitsville Bagginses, right? Somebody else replies to them and they just at Shitsville or at Bagginses, you know, would be a better example. They just at Baggins. And, and then I want to go and see what Baggins said so I can try and see what they're saying to each other because it sounds interesting and I want to butt myself in. But then it's it's a bit tricky to do that, especially when you're streaming, you know. It's like, I, so I go back and try to find ships fill bagginses, but then I can't find where the message is. So, what I'm looking for right now is a new jacket, which is a distinct possibility. Chainmail leggings. What fixes chainmail? It's epoxy. Eight kilos. Not epoxy. Pliers. I think I've got to take them, haven't I? I've got to take them, haven't I? It's time to start running! Paul, I turned the big three to eight this year. How many years should I ride that number? Looking for someone with decades of experience. Love you, bye. Decades of experience, you cheeky fuck. I, I don't know, dude. I, I'll let you know when I hit 39 and see how I feel. Chainmail chaps. We don't need no stamina's. So we need to find some pliers then. Pliers. We'll get some in this shed here. You think if someone gets 50k views a month that you can make a thousand dollars? You mean on Twitch or on YouTube, Riley? Uh, let me I don't think... I think it's unlikely. It, unless they're really lucky on the ads they get. I think if you're getting 50k views a week, 50, 50k views a month, I actually got a calculator out there. I, I, I would guess, like, a grand, like, if you're going to get a grand out of that, you've got to get uh, $20 per thousand view. That's incredibly high as a CPM. If you get $10 per, per thousand, you're doing insanely good. Like, way above average, right? To get $10 per thousand views. So to get $20,000 per, per thousand is... I think you'd have to be doing videos on the stock market and pretty much nothing else. Okay, I've seen 32 stone twice now. What is that? that I, I think I pretended to be 32 stone yesterday when someone asked me. But twenty twenty dollars per thousand views is very 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 rare. I don't. I, I've never got anywhere near that as an example. But interesting, Riley. Yeah. Well, I, I think it would be. A, I think five fifty thousand views a month would be about five hundred bucks a month. Depending on average, uh, might be less. It depends. It depends if they're car related. I would imagine car adverts pays pretty well. So five hundred bucks a month would be probably Sunday. feasible.
Let's go. I, I see what you did there. <laughs> Palmer trees. Thank you for the 44. Bjorn, thank you as well. And there was another one just before that that just dropped off my screen. I'll probably miss some others. I'll try and get them once I get to this bush. I don't really want to be in toppling, if I'm honest, but... Uh, Blam, Aldred, Link2, uh, I caught them all before, didn't I? K KMR, Kyle, thank you for the resubs. If I did miss yours, apologies. I am grateful. I was killing the dudes. <clears throat> it's called Flag underscore Zagorki, is it? Oh, very cool. Only applied to walked gear. How do you mean walked gear? Walked gear? <laughs> Sorry guys, one sec. Soaked. Ah, okay. Soaked. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Hmm. I don't think it would make a lot of difference. And as far as if it's raining, it's going to get soaked real quick anyway. Uh, I don't know how much extra things weigh when they're damp. I think they're still mostly mostly light, aren't they? But I, I, one thing I do like about the way wet gear is now, and, I, and it's definitely changed, is how quick you dry when you're just running around. So they've made fires take longer, but you dry naturally more speedily now, so at least there's a little tiny bit of balance there. I, I'm still not convinced about how long it takes to dry clothes with the... Uh, how long it takes to dry clothes with the with a fire. It seems very, very slow. But at least, uh, at least it's sped up some with the... Uh, like running around your clothes do dry way, way quicker than they did. Yeah, the fires take way longer, Gordon Bruce. On Experimental, I tried to dry my clothes with a three-stick fire, and the fire went out before the clothes were, were dry. Obviously, you can wring things out. The stuff you can wring out dries quicker, but stuff like backpacks and uh, shoes and whatnot that you can't dry out. Oh, God, it's painful. I don't know if I really want to be here, you know. Like, this is... We need a new jacket, I suppose, but this is a decent place to come for uh, for a chance of a flag, maybe. But it's a decent place to come for there being like six players all trying to kill me as well. Canned Reaper, yeah, good question. I am not streaming tomorrow. Oh. I'm not streaming tomorrow. I am streaming Friday instead. And also, the kids are here from Saturday as well, so uh, there won't be a stream after Friday until the following Thursday. I have got the okay from Mark in the end, so uh, yeah, no, no worries. What am I doing? I want to repair the... I want to repair the thingy. I've only got one sewing kit now. I've got two duct tape though. Let's use let's use one of the duct... Who's Mark? Mark is my fictitious boss. I had one person... Uh, I, uh, I... I didn't stream on a Sunday ages ago. Uh, and I, I wasn't well. I can't remember what the reason was. No, I... I the day before, I'd fallen in the mud 
I'd, I'd slipped walking the dog and landed on my back and it was kind of sore. And so I decided not to stream that afternoon. And I tweeted out, I've, I fell over and hurt my back. Not streaming today. And one dude called Mark said something along the lines of, uh, you, you seem to have done this quite a lot lately. Uh, like, kind of holding it against me that I'd hurt my back and I shouldn't be uh, calling in sick. You know, like he was my boss. Uh, and I, I just blocked him. I, I didn't even... I, I'm, I don't... I maybe I replied. I think I just blocked him. I don't remember, but... Uh, and it kind of... That was that. But ever since then, I've just made him my spoof boss. Like, he's now a fictitious character. I, but yeah, Mark is my boss. If I do anything wrong, it's Mark that holds me to account. But I... Uh, that week, I, I, I had the Sunday off, and then I streamed on the Friday instead, which is what I always tend to do. Like, tomorrow I'm not streaming. Because my missus has an appointment, and I, I need to drive her to it. And then, uh... And then, that means it's like right in the middle of the day as well, so it'd be really awkward to stream before or after. But I'm streaming Friday instead, but if I tweet out I'm not streaming today, like... that That's the sort of thing that wankers will get annoyed about, you know, like... Like they're owed. Toby was trying to kill me. He was off the lead, to be fair. What made it worse is that the kids were there as well, so... my two I think my kids will remember me falling over in the mud and talk about that in 20 years' time kind of thing, you know? I'm pretty sure they will. It was about... I was like... My ass was covered, caked in mud. Caked in mud, it was. And then they uh, they were, like, doing their... Because like, I did hurt myself a bit, and I, I hurt my back, and they knew I'd hurt myself. But everyone was trying their best not to piss themselves, because they knew I'd hurt myself. But also, it was fucking hilarious. And it wasn't really that big of a deal, but just the idea that you would, uh, like, hold someone to account for tweeting out that they're not streaming that day, you know? If I had any kind of backbone, I'd just be doing what sensible streamers do and just type something like, no stream today, folks, you know? I wouldn't be doing some kind of, like, no stream today, guys, I hurt my back yesterday and it really blah 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 blah, but I'll stream Friday and blah blah, fuck that. I, I should just be going, no, I'm not on today, catch you tomorrow. That's what I should do. <laughs> That's the sort of thing somebody like Lyric would do, who's got a backbone and is a bit more confident. Let's go. That That's actually not possible, dude. Sorry. Unless you've been switching streams quite a bit. Every half an hour, not every 15 minutes, dude. That's not possible. It's just that the bit in between the ads is so much fun that it felt like 15 minutes. It was actually half an hour. Sorry, dude. Un Unex, I literally just explained that about three minutes ago, if you want to go back and have a look. He's my uh, fictitious boss, in a, in a nutshell. But you do have a backbone, exactly, yeah, it's just a bit bruised. I'm looting this all because I'm trying to find pliers now, you know, like pliers, they'll probably be in sheds like this, more likely, if they're going to be somewhere. Goat Lord, yeah. I do wish I could do better at that, though. I, I find myself, like, little niggles, I can feel a need to reply, and I need to just think, ah, oh, fuck you, if... If you're only following me to have a go at me when I've hurt me back, then I just get fucking rid. And I am I am actually getting slightly better, you know. If you're only following to bitch at me when I when I when I hurt my back, then I'll make sure you don't follow any more kind of thing. It it's a much better approach, you know. I've done those over the years, Carmo. There's plenty of those kind of vids over the years. They actually don't go amazingly well. Uh, but I understand how YouTube works, dude. I, I appreciate your, your uh, like, uh, 
like commenting though nonetheless don't get don't take that the wrong way but uh, my best videos aren't compilation videos to be honest that that's not seems to be what works for me my best videos involve me uh, finding the best sniper rifle on the server or when an 11,000 hour player plays official but uh, yeah compilations do work but they the problem is they like for example I did some that were called uh, epic moments or something like that Epic Moments was about the worst Epic Moments, but because it was Epic Moments 1, it did best in the algorithm. Once you're up to Epic Moments 27, people tend to give a lot less of a shit, you know. I did Clips of the Week before that, yeah, same thing. Like, the, Although I think maybe Clips of the Week 3 did quite well from what I remember, and that wasn't a very good one either. Some were better than others, like always, you know. That's the thing with clips of the week. Some week you get absolutely crazy clips, and some weeks you just get that time you killed a dude, you know? Like. I, I don't particularly enjoy putting that kind of stuff out, if I'm honest. I try to do more storied things if I can, like, like, the, like the event we've just done. Now, it's not always possible, but even when I do the clips ones, I tr the clips are a bit longer, and I try to have a little bit of a... Like, like that last clip, that could go in Eclipse of the Week, but some people would just show the kills, you know? Some people would just show the shots. But I, I always want to show the... I, I met them, I spoke, I, decided, I, just, I said to them, I'm just going to run away, and then they chased me and tried to kill... I try to show the story behind the shots, even if it's five minutes rather than two, you know? Like, that's just always been my kind of approach to, to the YouTubes. I, a good example of that, really. Not necessarily uh, di bad, by the way, like would be Tope, you know, like, if Tope makes a 10 minute video, if I had that same footage, one, I'd have to have some kind of aimbot to be as good as him, but if I had that same footage, my video would be 35 minutes long and his is 10. fucking sucks. As soon as I fill it up, oh, I can use the bottle. As soon as I fill the canteen up, it's coming off the belt. It's time to start running! Keep on moving fast, TRMZ love, TRMZ love. Yeah, it only engages one in every ten fights though, son. And it's a little bit slower as well. This wasn't my water, so I am a little bit gambling here that that water's clean. How heavy is the chainmail? Eight kilos. <laughs> it's stupidly heavy. I'm wearing a plate carrying chainmail. I'm basically fucked. I'm not going to get any stamina back, ever. You do get pliers on the bedside table sometimes as well. I'm going to keep my gun out. You see pliers in spawn towns all the time. I, I didn't actually come here for pliers, but I'm now looking for them because I want to fix the... Uh, I want to fix the chainmail, but... What I'm coming here for is to... See if I can find the flag, you know, I wanna I wanna find the flag of destiny. Yeah, bedside table, yeah, I keep my pliers there. What is most find it hap likely? Finding a living T-Rex or a happy Spurs fan? <laughs> well, you'd have to be having some kind of upside-down Spurs fan to be happy, I guess. Unless Spurs have... Unless there's a Spurs fan. There's probably a Spurs fan out there who's, uh, whose brother is a Southampton fan. That's about it, though, I'd say. Yeah! 
at least you've got something to play for in the last game, Gala. If it goes your way, of course. If it doesn't... Ooh. I think Everton will stay up. Leicester have been shocking. I, 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 Big Sam has got... Uh, as, 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 I know they've only got a, 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 maybe a couple of draws, have they? Or one draw, but... I still think he's made a tiny difference. You know, they they only just lost a little bit. And they should have really won that game. They drew as well. They chucked it away. Gave away two penalties, but... Uh, you never know. It might be Leeds that stay up. Big Sam might net the three million, but I'd love it to be Leicester. I do need a jacket, actually. Yeah, that's a good shout. I'm still kind of checking summer camps, although I've not checked one for a hot minute. But summer camp sheds. I read my uh, next chapter of Blood Meridian last night. It's really getting good. I'm, I'm liking it so far. I read it while I was on holiday, the first half, and then I stopped as soon as, like, I was on a weekend away. And uh, I, I'm not anywhere near as far as I got last time. And I can only remember vague things about it. But I'm liking it more this time than I did the last time. I don't really know why. I think it's probably because when I read it the last time, I took it to try and unwind. But the only reason I really read it is because the hotel didn't have decent... Uh, didn't really have Wi-Fi. And so I was, I was reading it begrudgingly when I actually wanted to be on the internet. Whereas now I'm reading it by choice. File transfer. I don't think of any, th like, three three rapid hits kind of deals. No. This up here feels like pliers, doesn't it? Pliers up here, you'd, you'd think. In all of this industrial shite. That's actually not much up here, but we'll have a look anyway. It stinks of pliers. It stinks of them, it does. Absolutely reeks of pliers up here. One thing I, I find crazy about, like, maybe it's because I've read more Stephen King in the past, or maybe it's just, like, I don't know, I haven't read for so long, but Cormac McCarthy, like, there could be some incredibly gruesome, like, crazy thing, like, they, they, they could be arriving into a town with, like, 50 dead bodies, and he can describe that in about, like, three sentences. <laughs> it feels like I would be expecting, a, like, a, a little bit more detail somehow. Uh, but the, the thing I really like about Cormac McCarthy is the speech he uses with people talking to each other. Uh, like when he, when you've got one character talking to another, that some of the things that come up, just the way they say it, it's, it's really, really, really good. His like dialogue between characters is really cool. Arthur, I'm reading it now. Yeah, that, I'm reading it now. That's what just I was just mentioned it. I uh, I'm only up to about page seventy odd, but I've only been reading it. Today will be day six. Day six. Day six, my friends. Day six. Yay. Yeah, all the pretty horses is on my list. A few people have mentioned that one, Charlie. It's not one I'm familiar with, to be honest. I only know him from the movies that have been made, you know, like, I'm really, I really like, uh, well, I only, only, sorry, No Country for Old Men is my favourite film of all time, uh, which is why I, uh, and I've seen The Road and I like that. The Road was good. So I've got, I've got Blood Meridian and The Road at the moment, but I need to get uh, all the pretty horses or whatever you called it. Well, uh, Aim Lab, Aim Lab did have a setting when I last used it. There was a setting for Daisy. However, since I last used it, Daisy has changed its settings in in uh, in it. You you can always map sensitivity very easily. It's really easy to do, dude. Maybe not to within the decimal point, but you can do it near enough, right? So, how you uh, how you do your sensitivity when you're using other people's software is stand in a corridor, basically. If I die doing this, you owe me. Uh, a thousand sorrows. Let's just pretend this is a corridor, but 
What you do is you put your hot bar and fuck it up. So you get your gun out and you start with your mouse wheel, sorry, your mouse on the very edge of your mouse mat, right on the very edge of your mouse mat, right? And then you just very slowly wheel round until you get to 180 degrees. Like that. And then you put a little, put your keyboard even, or put something on the edge of the mouse, right? Put something on the edge of the mouse so you know exactly the edge of your mouse mat until here is that much, right? And then you go into aim labs and repeat it and just make sure you get the gap to be the same. And that will be close enough that you will get your muscle memory built up in aim labs. G-R-M-Z-L-U-R-K <laughs> Natty, <laughs> I made my ex watch the road with disclaimers at the end. She said, why would you do this to me? I often wonder that. I thought that. To be fair, my missus watched a load more shit. On, on the telly than I do because I have a lot more that I like like she even comes to the Marvels at the cinema and stuff you know for example but like when she made me go to watch the Ab Fab film at the cinema and Little Women as well I, I had those same thoughts when I was watching Little Women in particular it was like it was really long and it felt like just nothing happened uh, Ab Fab was worse though Ab Fab the movie was a shocker I didn't even know there was a movie. I'm not sure many people do. They're the lucky ones. I quite like Dab Fab, the TV series. I've not seen every episode, but if you see an old one like on the telly now, they are funny. They are well written. They are funny. Nothing did happen in that damn little women movie. <laughs> it did seem like nothing happened. Uh, we have an agreement now. We have an agreement, Whack Cow. You need a whiskey. Uh, Deadly Taco. Uh, I don't need a whiskey. I, I don't even miss it. I'm. To be fair, actually, whiskey is lovely. It's the elixir of life, but it's not very good for you. I feel so much better. I, I'm still going to have some more, I'm sure, at some point. But I'm only... I'm on day six of this... Uh, Placid 75 that I'm doing. Uh, but I have, I'm on day 8 of no alcohol. And I, the difference in me is huge. I've, I've got so much more energy. Like I've not had enough sleep tonight. I had to get up quite early for me this morning. I, I had to get up at 7am. Uh, which I know is not early for many. So yeah, I'm not moaning. I'm just, just talking, right? Uh, but I actually woke up for a piss at 5.45. So... I didn't go to bed till about quarter past one, and then I was up at 5.45, so I haven't had much sleep. But I still feel well better than I normally would if I'd had loads of sleep. I, I still feel better. Way better. I got. I took the dog out for a walk earlier. We went out for about just over an hour we were walking. And, I, and it was the best walk I've had so far on this thing. I like. I'm walking's not hard or anything, but I just, like, like the, there's a few kind of half hills on the trip and they get you a little bit out of puff well today they didn't really you know like today was like the, the first one that felt but yeah and it's probably more than anything it's the lack of alcohol I just like whiskey you know? whiskey tastes very nice oh hello all right, dude. Yo. All right, man. Uh, but have you got any medicine? Uh, 
Uh, I'm overlooking a sec. Let me just shut this zombie in. What? What have you? What sickness have you got? Uh, I don't know. It's the little virus sign. It keeps coughing and sneezing. Uh, okay, it's only a cold. Uh, I might have two. I did have two. Let me see if I can find it. I'll put my axe away. Uh, I'm sure I had two. I can't fucking find them. I might have dropped them. Oh, bollocks. I've dropped... No, no, I've got them. They might cure you. If you take one and then... Oh, no. You just grunted, dude, didn't you? Don't take those. Did you just grunt? Yeah. Yeah, what's, what's that one? That. Try that first. Just put it, put it in your hand and then apply it to your wound. If it will let you. No, no, no. It's not them. Okay, no. alright. Well, the other two then will be the ones you need to try. That's fine then. Just worth checking first. But yeah, when the pill symbol goes away, take another one and see if it works. But, <laughs> Dude, just quick question while I... You haven't found any pliers anywhere, have you? I need to fix my pants. Uh... No, I've not found I'm pliers. Wearing, I'm wearing the new chainmail pliers, right? Chainmail pants, and you need pliers to fix them, see? So... Uh, and the, the other quick question, you haven't seen any flags anywhere, you know, the flags that you get, the, the like, flagpole flags. Hope you're oh, cool. A great day. I'm looking cool. for a particular one, though, and that's not the one, so, dude, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm grateful you had one, oh. that's cool, but yeah, it's not, it's not, it's good, but it's not the one. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, have... sorry, go, do, go on. No, I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest, I've, I think I've run from Mizzy, uh, Town. Well, this this is toppling, dude. It, oh, might, like a second time. it might be worth killing those Zeds just to see if they've got more of those pills, because two might not be enough. Uh, yeah. But yeah, if it's only a cold, it will go away on its own anyway. You just you just have to wait and keep yourself all energy up. But yeah, kill the Zeds. See if you can get some more, dude. I think there might be another one in the other side. I'll see if I can get it. Oh no, I already got the fucker. Yeah, I'm used to playing modern and uh, vanilla. You just constantly fighting virus. Yeah, it's it's only a cold, so it, it doesn't really do much. It's just annoying, you know. Like it it doesn't kill you or anything, so. That one that you're doing where you're uh, where you're going Ugh, is a bit more worrying. I think you're actually sick twice. The cold is less bad than the other one, whatever What's caused Mr. it. You haven't eaten any like raw meat or like like burnt meat or like drunk with bloody hands. Oh, you haven't eaten any food with Matt bloody hands. Galins. Uh he gave me some fish, so okay. I don't know what he's done with it. Well, he might have half eaten. Fish, he might have half eaten it. Yeah. yeah. If he'd half eaten it, and he had cholera, he might have given you cholera. So, if you're drinking that, you probably have to drink it very slow, do you? Yeah, yeah I keep having to uh, sip it. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm spewing up. Same with food. Yeah. So, the the pills I've given you cure cholera, if that's what it is. But two might not be enough. You might need more than two. So, just have to get lucky, basically. Have you got vitamins? I've just gone through... I think I had four. And from Galinsk, I've had them all. And oh that's done nothing. God. I did well, a sailing kit as well. If, you, well. if you've had the vitamins, that might have helped. If those those on top might just tip you over the edge. I know where the next medical is. If you want to head that way, I can take you to a medical in another town. Uh, I can't remember yeah, the name yeah. of the town, but I can show you where one is if you like. It's south and, and west of here. Uh... I can't, I can't, I never remember the name of the towns, but I know where it is. Zalel? Zalisi, yeah, Zalisi is the name of it, yeah. That, that's the, where there's a medical there. Dude, yeah, you keep the map, but if you, if, oh, I can take you to the next medical if you want, and we can have a look there if you like. Yeah, yeah, can do. You're okay, you've got, you've got enough water then for now, have you? Uh, I have half a bottle. Alright, we uh, we should probably just quickly go to the well first and just fill up water containers because you obviously need to drink quite a lot with that, but you've got to do it very slow. 
There's a well just up this way. It's about 100 metres. So the dude that gave you the fish was probably actually trying to be friendly and he's actually give you cholera, which is annoying. Oh, bollocks. Where's the other one? Oh, you got it. Just still looking for my pliers along the way. I did loot a lot of this. I'm it's a weird thing to look for, pliers. I never bother picking them up, but I looted the arrest around here. The well's just the other side of these garages. Whoa, and a tiny I'm, bit more. I'm bugged. I, I can't put my wrench away, I'm bugged. Okay, we might be able to fix that in a minute. Oh, I don't have any rope. Do you have rope or... I have uh, duct tape. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, we can use... Oh, I have duct tape as well, but yeah, we can use that. I can he don't, he can't make his mind up. So have you got a wrench in your hand for you? Yeah. Yeah, for me, your hands are empty. Right, if you come in here... You'll have to, you'll have to trust me here, because uh, I've got to tie you up to fix it, but... So if I tie you up, Got it no should... Than re -log him. It should... Yeah. Hang on, I, I was just about to do myself then, I think. Yeah, relogging, you could end up in a queue, you know, that's the... Right. If you want to break out, hopefully the, the wrench should go on the floor or back in your bag. Yeah, it's fixed. Nice. Nice one, thank nice. you. Nice. Do you want the tape still? Yeah. Let's uh, get to the well. You might want to take that chem light off now, dude. It's probably just about light enough. I don't know. It's your choice, though. Right, nice. All right, let's just nip to the well. Oops. It was kind of cool with your audience up above. They were they were watching you like intently. They were. <laughs> Did I ask you your name, by the way, dude? Uh, Callum. Callum. Ah, oh, my name's Dave, dude. You right, man? Yeah, man. Good you. Yeah, not bad. I uh, I, I'm doing all right, like in-game kind of stuff. You know, I just. Uh, I, I want to try and find a particular flag, which is a bit of a stupid thing, really, but I just do. It's like the sort of thing you do when you're bored in DayZ, right? Look for a stupid yeah. flag. I'm waiting for a modded server to wipe, so I just hopped on vanilla. Not been on for like a year. Oh, yeah. I quite uh, like it. I, I know not it's. Not been on Livonia. It's, it's not for everyone, for a, for but I, minute, I, I, yeah. I quite like it. As in vanilla, right? It can be a little bit dicey sometimes with cheats, but I, I quite like it. So where do you normally play on uh, modded wise then? I like rearmed or oh yeah, <laughs> like uber uber PvP then. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting a bit sick of it to be honest. It's a bit people just spamming like QE. You yeah, like look at yeah. the clips and they've got like 16, uh, 600 by 800 res. It's like what's the point of playing the game at that point? Yeah, I, I well. I, I guess whatever's fun. Play it whatever's like it's fun. FPS. Dude, I'm gonna. I'm just dropping this. I don't need it. I don't know if you want that or not. There's a PU scope on the ground. Blue. You all right? There's another guy here. Oh yeah. Okay. He hasn't got a gun in his hand. He's probably okay. <coughs> Hello, dude. You're right. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, not bad. Alright, nice. You haven't seen any pliers, have you? Chicken. I've seen a few, yeah. I can't remember where the last set was by any chance, can you? I need to fix my pants. Uh, maybe I got one. Yeah, take this. No, pliers. Pliers, dude. No. My pants are, uh... My pants are chainmail. They're the new pants, and you need to use the pliers oh. to fix them. Yeah, have a good look at my pants, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Very nice pants. 
All right. I don't have any. Sorry. We're heading over to the medical uh, in Zalisi because this dude's ill. So we'll we'll catch you later, dude. Stay safe. All right. Good luck. Love you, boy. He must have a thing where he where he meows. See my vest, see my vest, made of real gorilla chest. My little pony, thank you for the resub. Oh, new jacket. Right, I'll just quickly change in jacket. Have you got much food, dude? Uh, I have two uncooked steaks. Yeah, I've got some uncooked uh, steak as well, so... We don't need to do it here. This is quite dangerous toppling, right? But if we make a move over towards uh, Zalisi, there's... I don't think where else we could go along the way, but we, we've, we could probably just go up this road and check one more summer camp shed. Gizmo, dude, thank you for the resub. Thank you. For, oh, I'll check in here for some pliers right quick. Have you taken the second pill already? Yeah, yeah. That sucks then, it didn't work. Yeah, let's just nip up this way right quick. There's a uh, another one of those uh, sheds like the one we just checked where I got this jacket from. Uh, Chocolate Hobnob Griffin, thank you for the very long resub and the new sub between you. Thank you. Mike, cheers for the gifted. So what's the? I've, this is kind of sad, really, because I play loads of Daisy. But what's the main draw with rearmed? What's the the thing that makes it stand out? Uh, I think it's just more. It's fast the PVP and uh, the bit of base building, like okay. mostly like hoarded stuff as well. So do you do base building and shit, do you? Yeah, yeah, I like base building. Oh, fair enough. I ain't got the patience. Just but the PvP, and you can see that some of them are tryhards, and just like uh, I know they obviously want to win PvP fights, but it kind of ruins games where they're spamming like animations and stuff. Yeah. Prime time. It's quite sad. This map's quite underrated and not played as much as the rest. Yeah, I, I quite like. I, I thought yeah. when it first came out, it was really good. It, it could do with a little bit of work. The bit, what they did in uh, like November last year or October, whatever it was, has helped it quite a little, you know, with the bits they added. But I, I wish they were working on it a little bit more because I like the core of Livonia a lot. You know, it is it's pretty decent. But yeah, a, a better colour palette than uh, Cherno, uh, Generous. Dude, there's uh, a bit of food on the ground. You might as well have that. Hey, how about you tell me to keep running for a change? Ten four reefer, keep running, dude. <laughs> uh, Gabe, thank you very much. Kit the Great, uh, reefer, thank you for the resubs, guys. What is that? It's re rearmed. Isn't um, isn't American? Uh, sorry, isn't EU? Is it the Kimbo? I don't think it is. I didn't. I didn't know where it was based. Gotta eat that slow. I actually lucked out with this loot. I uh, I was at Muratin and I shot a dude wearing this plate carrier with my, with this loot, <coughs> and I shot him and didn't kill him, and he killed me. And when I ran back, he'd killed somebody else, and he must have died to zombie but zombies by the look of it. So I was a dead body, and when I ran back, the guy I. I'd shot at was dead and so was somebody else so I was the first person to run back to get three people's loot and all I did was die you know that was kind of cool yeah. I've been playing since this morning I've, I've died once uh, that was <laughs> to a virus as well I got literally in the middle of nowhere I okay, couldn't find no. anything uh, that's what you get for rearmed, right? It, 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 not that it's that, that, like you say there's some Stopping amazing to vanilla, yeah. it's, there's some amazing players but the, the like Bandaging with dirty rags or something is just like not something anyone would give a hoot about, really. It's a brown jacket there. I don't know if you yeah. want it. It's a little bit better than that red one.
what do you what's your policy for uh for bear traps right if you see a bear trap what do you do with them you gotta place it here right yeah that's what i was thinking right I'd, i didn't want to place it there and then realize that you were like uberly do-gooder and uh i don't think do-gooders tend to play rearmed if i'm honest but uh, <laughs> i didn't want to put it there yeah. and then like you'd be like oh god that's a bit evil you know Right, yeah, just put it here. Yeah, I, I think vanilla is a lot better for the interactions. Like, oh yeah, that, that, that's why. Rearm, that's why I don't do real KOS. Well, like just like this town we were just at, you know, there's the, that dude we just met. I've met a couple of others as well. Like, in the town, I don't know if it's Adamal. I think it might be. We've got to go over the field this way, dude. I was in Adamal just before, and I saw a dude with no gun out and said hello, and his mate was behind with a shotgun. So I just sort of said out loud, I'm just going to run away, and I ran the other way, and they both tried to chase me to kill me, so... But even still, they, there was a little bit of talk, and it wasn't just like, oh, there's two guys, and now I'm dead, you know? Yeah. Can loot that house, if might, might as well, but we probably don't need to, but we might as well. The, the, the town is kind of pretty much straight to our right, as the angle we're running here. I'm going to loot this shed, dude, see if I can find the pliers. It's a hell of a find, that. Didn't find a great deal. Badly damaged suppressor for a pistol, but that's all. Yeah, I'll take that. I, oh shit. Can you still mend these? We duct tape. Uh, unfortunately not, no. Only weapon cleaning kits. I've got to drop my meat. It's going to be rotten before we get anywhere else. Mo three of it's rotten already, so I might just leave it. I, we can we can soon get more forward. I've got one can attack back on me as well. Got enough bandages. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly. He's random, yeah. If you see me talking using this cursor on screen, then it's always a random, yeah. If I'm talking using Discord and you don't see the on-screen mic, then it's not. Need more Glock mags. I haven't got any Glock mags. But you're right, I do. What's your health and blood level at? Uh... My blood's full and my well, health's full, but it's got an up arrow on it. Okay. Oh. And what about your energy? Oh god, that's not so great. What I was just going to say, what about your energy and hydration? Uh, double yellow. Right, if you can slowly get them to both white, which is challenging, I know, but uh, if you ha if your health gets to full, it eventually you get you cure cholera anyway. It doesn't kill you, but uh, it, it's quite a slow process. Hopefully, we'll get the meds. Yo, hello, thanks for all the great content you always provide us. Keep on running TRMZ love. Nathan, dude, thanks for the 23 months. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. WC, it's down to the server owners. Most server owners wipe regularly. A lot wipe on the uh, the day of a new patch. Uh, Zero, for example, wiped the servers but didn't wipe the players. So if you had loot on your body, you got to keep it. But uh, they did a character wipe not so long before so they didn't wipe characters just the server itself hi kensicle hope you're good happy hump day i appreciate the content trmz love young kel thank you for the 17 months uh, cheers for the support dude thank you So on rearmed, if you get like really injured, is there any way to bring your health back other than like waiting? Yeah, you can like spam IFAC kits and they get like 15 HP instantly, which is a bit. I think it's a bit broken, but. Okay. Are they hard to find or are they easy to find? Pretty common. Okay, so it, 
I, I think Rearmed is the one that's trying to be a bit more like Tarkov, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sort of. It's got a lot of like the key cards and uh, a lot of the items in. Okay. Uh, like bitcoins you can sell to traders and stuff. I, I played. I probably play vanilla more, but when you come home from work, you cut. You need like a good few hours. You to need play, like four hours, really. Whereas modern, got, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I, I, I think I understand that. I do, I do. Where modded you can up on for a couple hour, keep big eared, have some fights, and then that's it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. As if you can be running for like two hours, not see a thing. Yeah. Not pick up a thing. What, what, what about Rearmed? Is it all like squads then? I, I know I'm overly interested, but I've never really looked at it, to be honest. But is it all squads, or do you get many lone wolves, or uh, what? Uh, we usually play as a duo on Rearmed. Usually me and my friend. Uh, it's Max 5 server we play on, so we can run into anything from a, like you said, solo Single to, to five. 5, okay. Obviously, 5's a lot easier if you're going to do bases and shit, right? Yeah. We usually run into trios and stuff. It's a blue armband here. That must be Adam Crooks, right? That must be Adam Crooks. There's no way that's a, an anything other than Adam's. It must be. Just fixing this armband. It's not the one I'm not the flag I'm I'm looking for, but I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, that would be his, right? I think it is. Alright, I've just put on some random armband for now. But it's not the one I was after. So, that's that's typical of my luck, isn't it? So yesterday, looking for my... Well, Muller's flag, our flag, whatever. Yesterday, looking for that flag, I found Holly Rex's. Today, I found Adam Crook's. Like, what are the chances of that? They seem quite small to me. The well is on the right... Sorry, not the well. The uh, the medical's on the right side of town, so we're, we're heading down the right way to, to go to it. Yeah. I don't think it is actually one in three, Olio. I think it's actually lower than that. It's implied odds, right? If you've got a one in three chance when there's three and then there's only two afterwards, then it's not a one in three chance anymore. It's a one in three and a one in two. I got my so food up to white. Just, that's, uh, that's not actually my, true. Uh, drink still on yellow. Hey, Paul. Hope you go All right, that's cool. Keep on running. Although there are still others, so that, that's not actually the case necessarily. I think you might be right, because it's not like there's only one flag. Others spawn in, so there's always a chance you could find any one of the three, I suppose. It's kind of cool. I think it looks much better on the picture than it does on your arm, just because it's so detailed, but I think a lot of them are like that. Why do I have so much stamina at that point? I, to be honest, I always find myself asking that, you know, like, why don't I have less stamina? <laughs> You want to loot in there thoroughly, dude. I'll kill some zombies around the, the outside medical ones that might have the loot. Yeah, yeah. This one had charcoal tabs, which is a shame. Not quite the right one, but... I can't even think where the next medical is. There really aren't many medicals on the on the map, you know.
Knight Rider, that's not how the med the meds work. Like if he's got cholera, which he has, I'm pretty sure, then charcoal doesn't do anything at all, I'm afraid, no matter what you do with it. And like double stacking with vitamins doesn't either, I don't think. What he needs is uh tetracycline. Or uh, if if it was dude it, I guess it's possible he had salmonella. It's possible. I think you've got cholera, but do you want to start taking What's one of them here and there? Oh, I didn't drop him. Just in case it's salmonella. He might have had salmonella, the, the dude, and you might have caught that from him. So just take one of them. Right. If, if we're lucky, maybe it's that, but I, I don't think that'll work. We could get lucky and get them somewhere else, but I, I, I don't, I'm trying to think where else we can go for meds. I don't know of another one near here. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I've played this map a long time, so... The main thing is, if we can keep your, your, your energy up and your hydration up, you will get rid of it eventually anyway, but... I think you, be, you being full health and full blood is kind of important, you know? You don't want to lose that. Uh, a well here. Yeah, it's not far up, a little bit further ahead on the left. Just changed my balaclava, dude, just so you know. It's not the, I've not got the skull one anymore. FC Pam, I was actually looking at that yesterday. Uh, for the last 30 days, my uh, my audience, 31% was UK, 25% was American, uh, second was Canada with something like 6%. No, in fact, not true. Second was Germany. Th sorry, third was Germany. Fourth was Canada. Fifth was Australia. But I can't remember the percentages after the UK and... Uh, the UK. And so UK was tw 31 USA was 25. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Jay Grand, uh, I don't think he knows. Well, he, he probably does, but if he does, he's playing it cool, so we don't know is the answer. He sounds like he's been playing Daisy a while, so I say there's a better chance that he does than he doesn't, but he's played it cool if he does. Aussie was 3%, I remember that much. Australia was 3%, but they were still 5th. I'm not ditching him, I'm just hoping we can loot a couple of houses, I'm sure it'll be okay. Bit of a headache. He has got a bat, but that's ne that's badly damaged, which I don't think would be wise for him to, to add to his bat. Because it'll make his bat badly damaged.
I'm here, dude. Yeah, let's get it tomorrow and spew it up again. Oh, God. you got to be really careful with, like, how quick you eat. You're waiting for the arrows to stop going up before you're eating or drinking, right? Uh... <laughs> no. So, when you drink anything, like, don't drink any more. Wait for the arrows to stop going up and then drink another little bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And same with eating as well. Just, like, eat, like, two... Put your hand to your mouth, like, twice. And then wait until the arrows stop going up, and then you can do it again. If you do it strictly like that, you won't be sick. He should know. Not if he's playing on rearmed. They don't have shit like that. They don't have, like, that kind of stuff. It's much more run around, do what you want. Right, so you've got full water, yeah? Your water bottle's all full. You're as full as you can be. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Okay. There's a summer camp just down the way. I don't think there's likely any meds, but we could have a look. There is another town. There might be a med, actually. There's a new town up the hill, so if we go just slightly south, check this summer camp, and then we can cross back over the field and see if we can find... Uh, there might be a medical... There is a medical at the next town down as well. On The road that we left to come this way, if we'd stayed on it, there's another town that way. We, we could maybe find some meds there. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Still not find my pliers, though. These trousers are meant to be, uh, like, they're meant to offer a little bit of ballistic protection. They're the chainmail ones, right? So I, I'd just like to fix them up and just see, but it means I've got next to no stamina. I'd like to get the chainmail jacket as well, so I can uh, double layer the uh, the ballistics and then just not be able to run ever. Yeah, you can be like, you can break, you won't be able to move anywhere. Exactly. Double barrel in there. Right, at this summer camp we're going to come to in a sec, be wary, I, 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 I planted a bear trap just before. Yesterday I stood on a bear trap at this this exact one, so let's not take any chances with the uh, summer camp sheds, there could be one. Yeah. Riley, dude, well good luck, hope it goes well. I wonder what your proposal is. Is it to genet genetically modify boobies so they're all like that lady from Total Recoil? Total Recoil, sorry. I always say Total Recoil for some reason. Bias? Sewing kit. Boo! <laughs> yeah, dude, you might as well have this. But again, very, very slowly, like little bit and then wait for the arrows to stop. Yeah. <clears throat> FC Pam, like regular Walker's salt and vinegar crisps are... Well, any salt and vinegar crisps, but Walker's crisps are good. I think they are good. Salt and vinegar's good. I think Walker's have got a tiny bit overpowering lately. I think they feel a bit stronger than once they did, but they are... They are banging. Yeah, you're right. They are good. S and V. Walkers is our equivalent to Lay's everywhere else. We get, Ours aren't called Lay's, they're called Walkers. Salt and Shake. They still sell them, killer. They have them in the supermarkets. I am really hungry at the moment. so loud I thought I was sick. Is that a sword near the boat? That one's got a bear trap in it dude, be careful. There's a pickaxe. I saw the pickaxe. It was a pickaxe with a stick, so I see the confusion. Somebody dropped it, basically. I did see the pickaxe, but I was still hopeful. 
I wanted to wield the sword of Colossus. For I wield the sword of Colossus! As some might say. Bad cover version of Bane might say that. What have you done to me, cat? Uh. Alright, well this was a bag of shit. I think someone's been here recently, to be honest, based on that zombie being trapped in there. Yeah, picked up some rags as well. Alright, done that one, dude. Now we're going to go back up the field, up this way. Oh, dude, there is one shed this way. We ought to just quickly check it. You never know. Uh you never know, there could be something in it. I think both of these can spawn hunting loot. Uh, I got some Winchester if you want those. I don't, I don't uh, know. Well, I'll give you them back if you find if we find you a gun that uses them. But yeah, I could use them. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, he's got. He wants you. I, uh, I saw the yellow there, but I thought it was a golden compass. I didn't think it was the, uh, the 308. Otherwise, I'd have gone running over snaffling them up straight away. <laughs> yeah, I only have a uh, shotgun and a pistol at the minute. Uh, one sec, be right back. Thank you for the su for gifted sub. Thank you for the new sub yourself as well. Holy shit, dude. Double dipping. Double dipping with the sub in. Thank you. Wayne, thank you for the 16 months. Young Kelt, Nathan, thank you for the resubs as well. Scampy flavoured fries. They've got gluten in, so I haven't had them for a, well, a good while, but I quite like those back in the day. The bacon ones are pretty sweet and all. I don't mind the bacon ones too. That's not how it works, though, Calvin. You've you've got they they added the televote to try and make it uh, to try and make it less uh, political, but I don't think it really works. But yeah, I, I I thought that Finland track that was okay. The one that won was all right as well, but they're all shit, aren't they? I I have to say, everyone was like all up in arms. Oh, our UK song should have done way better than it did. It's so unfair. I thought it was horrendous. I thought our, our song was awful. I thought it was it was fucking horrific. Uh, FC Pam, I am a Liverpool's fan. Liverpool's. I think they should remove the judges completely, give all the voting power to the audience. That sounds like X Factor. I think they've, they've I think they've improved it by adding like like the element they have. I think they they've they've made it better, but I don't rightly give a shit to be honest. Great Britain I can't believe we came second oh, I'm last year. Bugged again, can you tie me up? Dude, that sucks. For me you've got peaches in your hand. Yeah, it says I have in my inventory, but I can't switch again. I've heard a few people suggesting that it's something to do with moving loot, dragging it while you're crouched. The peaches are on the floor for me, so that will probably be okay. Yeah, thank you. No worries, dude. You can't vote for your own country, Suto, so that that's not true. You, you can't vote for your own country. Uh, however, it would still have it would still be skewed because certain countries kind of like other countries and stuff, and and it might be, but I don't know. The highest population countries tend to hate everyone, you know. I, I don't think the French really like Germans or Brits, and the Brits don't really. Oh, well, I quite like both, but I think probably you wouldn't see uh, Brits voting much for France or Germany, and vice versa, really. I suppose, but I don't think it really matters. Who gives a fuck? It's it. But last year, the fact that. Uh, UK came second is kind of crazy, really. Like, that, 
that song was okay, to be fair, but they never have any chance. I don't really understand why, but for some reason, the UK isn't very popular in the Eurovision Song Contest. Whether they ever a good song or whether they don't, they never get any votes, you know? Priff, I don't know. I, I think we're probably a little bit past that, that phase now. Probably need to just go to the right. There's probably not much point. It, we go towards the sun, we can pick up the road a bit further south. Yep. Yeah. Everyone else, England had their time in pop music. That's not why England, uh, the UK doesn't do well. For you. UK doesn't do well in uh, in Eurovision because uh, everyone hates us. Like especially, uh, well, for, forever and a day, you know. Like we, we've always been awkward in Europe. But everyone knows it, right? Like, like we we don't get any votes. Not that we should have won it loads of times, but we get less points than we should. It's always been the way. Although, uh, like, Germany are suffering from that now as well. That, that is what the press is saying, anyway. Germany got next to no points for their Ugly. song this year, and it was better Easy. than some of the other yeah. songs, you know. Like, it wasn't great, but they, they didn't get many points, and there's there's uh, perhaps some... Uh, not some not, they're maybe not as popular as they once might have been. I might as well check that hunting stand to the left. Puke, fair enough. Ah, British music's good. It's it's good. Obviously, British music's great. You know, there's been loads of loads of it over the years. You know, loads of it. They can't stop fucking writing it. They can't. Especially that one dude that writes well, all the, the Marvin Gaye riffs. Meat in this. There's meat in the bush. Bush. Yeah. I uh, like to put my meat in magazine. the bush. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't normally just leave it in there forever, though. What mag was it, by the way? Uh, SSG-82. Ah, okay. That no, sucks. I just found a weapon cleaning kit. I'm just fixing my blaze. It was badly damaged, so... Oh, I had a weapon cleaning kit. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's the flag I'm looking for. Can you take that one? You wear that one, and I'm just going to fix this one up. I wish it was the flag and not the handcuffs, but yeah, I've been looking for this one. They added that flag that's in your that armband that's in your hand. They added that on the new patch. Uh, and they it's added, like they added this one. Yeah, it's it's not that exciting, really, but they added this one as well. It's a fucking conspiracy. Oh, yeah, yours is a lot better than mine. Well, I'm glad you like it. it oh, dude, it, it, does it show three people on the arm for you? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. And when the you... middle guy has. Oh, they all have. They all have uh, armbands on. Yeah. Pete. Oh, can you read them? Oh. Holy shit! Sorry, oh, I didn't mean to move. It, yeah. It could... I, I'm sorry, I'm moving and Stop I shouldn't moving. be sure. <laughs> we got P, Soap, and Dave. And L. It's funny that. That's my, that's my name, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I was moving thinking, why are you getting in my face? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking stupid. That's cool, though. That, that is really cool. I'm impressed you can read the names, to be honest. I didn't think the res would be that high. Yeah. I play on Ultra on here, so it's... Oh, nice. It's pretty good. Guys, somebody screenshot that and then tweet it at Muller. Look what t look what TRMZ found. <laughs> there you go. I'll give you another chance. Quick, screenshot it. Quick. Up, up, up. Oh, no. Yeah, all my as well. Just constantly drinking there. Too too busy, uh, too busy admiring the uh, the armband. 
So that is Muller, that is Sour, and that is me as such. You can, my one's the one with the broken leg. I feel like that's half mission accomplished. Even missed with the first swing of the bat as well. <laughs> sure. To be fair, your shooting is, I'm is, on the is sickness. your shooting is exactly the same as mine. Don't worry, I'm not claiming any moral high, high ground. Don't worry. To be fair, you did hit like three out of five. I think you know they just take a lot of kit hits, don't they? Different story if we had ammo for this beast, dude. Uh, on the ground is a mag with eight bullets in it. Oh, we're rocking now. Don't tell me like your road name or anything, but whereabouts from the Midlands are you? Like, like, let me guess first. Like somewhere near Leicester, like Nottingham, Leicester, somewhere. Uh, no. I'm miles away, am I? Damn it. Sheffield, near Sheffield. Okay, that's not a million miles up further up than Nottingham, really. Re kinda. Uh, yeah, about an hour away. It's all fucking up north from here. Wait, where are you from? Suffolk. Well, I, I was born up north. I was born in Lancashire, but I uh, moved to Suffolk when I was a lad, you know, with my parents. I always kind of get confused with Sheffield, because Sheffield's a bit more of a... Uh, they don't sound like right proper northern. Like, you, you sound more, like, more Midlandsy, you know, whereas somebody from, like, I don't know, York or Leeds, they sound a bit more northern somehow. I can't quite get my head round it, but I don't know. <laughs> Do you might, if you spoke to my granddad, then, yeah. <laughs> it sounds exactly like you describe it. Yeah, my well, my dad. Book. Yeah, my dad used to talk like that as well. They all did. Well, oh, there's a dead zombie in the road. We best be a bit wary. Yeah, my dad was a proper northerner. He was he was from uh, Nelson near Burnley, and he was really really broad. We might get zombies off of the dude that killed that. Sorry, not zombies. We might get uh, meds off the dude that killed that Zed. You never know. Is that aggro towards somebody? Or is it just no, it's, it's just walking. Well, running, walking kind of thing. Thanks but for the great dream. I think there's a. I think I there's a medical if we go there. Oh, do you know what? I'm not sure there is a medical. Months. Keep it, UP Daddy. I thought there was a med here, but there isn't. TS Champ, thank you very much. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Jaeger, thank you very much. Sat, sat, uh, eight clicks. Thank you. I didn't realise you'd changed bag, you know. That was bad. I, I got a bit, a bit confused for a minute. And the zombie's wearing the bag he used to have, which confused me even more. Dude, that was surgical. Bear trap. In the door there, bear trap. Don't stand on that fucker. Yep.
Dude, I have got to go for a piss. I am going to burst. Uh, I need to log out as well, to be honest. Oh, you uh, got to go, have you? Oh, that's all sure. good. Yeah. Well, uh, dude, stay safe. Uh, thanks for yeah. being friendly. I, I guess you probably need to retrace your steps back to where we went when you get back in, if you do, and uh, try and get some meds. But, yeah, good luck, dude. Thanks for being friendly. It was fun. It was, it was a good little team-up. Yeah, you too. I'll go Good and immediately luck. die now. Take it easy, man. Love you, boy. Meow. Fuck. That was an SVD. That was an SVD I just got shot by. Good afternoon. There's a base in there. I'll just go and immediately die. Instantly get shot by an SVD. I wonder if this is the dudes that we bumped into yesterday. He had to have been in there, right? <gasps> How did that miss? That felt nailed on to me. I'm not convinced. Maybe my ranging is off or something. I don't know. No, it's not. It's, it's on the lowest. I don't think that missed. Got the makings of a good little life here, you know. This has been good, very good. Random team up, killing people trying to kill me. It's almost like a our uh, eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty-three hours survivor plays official Livonia. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> uh, I need to remember that number. I'm just going to, I'm kind of killing time here, more than anything else. I do need to reload the mag. I already did it, fuck me, I'm dumb. That was when I was yeah. waxing lyrical about the thing. He's got an SVD in there, but I don't think I can get to him. What a movie scripted event right there. I think this is the same people as before. He didn't have a lot of bullets, did he? There's a lot of fruit around here. I don't think we're on our own. I think there's others. Sorry, not fruit. Mushrooms. I thought I saw a base wall up there. I feel like there's a base on the go. I have four grenades. That will help, but it's not enough. Yeah! 
Oh, you fuck. That sucks. I've definitely killed him, but I can't I can't raid that, I don't think. I've not got enough bullets. Throw the nade inside. It takes like ten grenades, eight or nine maybe, but certainly more than I've got. He will come back. You're right. But it could take him an hour. I've got time. I know my jacket's ruined. I'm not particularly asked about it right now. Oh, his jacket isn't ruined, so now I am, actually. I've changed my mind. I have got to go for a piss. Thing is, it depends what the guy does. Will he run straight back? Or will he, uh... Will he loot first? If he loots first, he could be like two hours. One of them might not, though. One of them might might come fairly quickly, mightn't they? Guys, I've got to go for a piss. Oh my fuck, I'm going to burst. I'm leaving the server, which might be a gamble, but I'll be back in a sec.
happy 9 months. wasn't it? I should have gone unconscious, shouldn't I? Unless they've changed the damage system. If that was an SVD, I should have gone unconscious, shouldn't I? Just quickly, look at that. That look It does look really good, I have to say. It's a shame Muller's head's chopped off. But it looks really good. I think the colours look good. No, but my vest got damaged, Ross, unless maybe my vest got damaged by the zombies, but my vest did get damaged. Pants affect shock damage, surely only when you're shot in them though, Davey. I don't think the pants affect the shock damage if you don't get shot in the... in the pants. <clears throat> Blimey, I thought they'd be a kid. Hi, Peach. I was just thinking while I was having my wee, uh, he's going to run back straight away because he's going to want to try and get his loot, isn't he? He's dead in there. He's going to want to run back. He's not going to leave it because if he leaves it, he can't, uh, he can't get his loot back, can he? He's going to want his SVD. Of course he is. I've got to try and find it. If they're at all smart, they'll be looking for me though, right? They won't just run in like a fucking idiot. So I need to try and find a suitable position. This is not smart, is it? No way he doesn't see me. Climb into the window. I don't know how to do that. I don't think you can on this one. There's nothing on the side. You can't climb in the window on this one. Nine months and counting, keep on running, man running. Holy fuck! That was an SVD. I think he'd already come back. Oh, that sucks. He'd already made it back. That fucking sucks. I wasn't even looking. Well, that SVD shot definitely knocked me on con.
Where did he hit me? He's not damaged the vest. He's hit me in the chest, though, because it's, it just hasn't damaged the vest for some reason. I don't understand that. There's no guarantee it was an alt account. It could be his mate that logged in, or it could have been an alt. It could have been. There's no way he ran back that quick. That middle window is not worth watching because he can't actually be there. The middle window is the hall window, so he won't be there. I definitely hit him, and there's no way that wasn't a headshot. I'm sure it was. I could possibly get him through these trees if he goes in the right window. I should have checked, to be honest. I was just, like, guilty of thinking there's no way he can be back yet. I didn't even look in the windows. And there I am standing still. I hit him in the face with a double blaze. Yeah, there's no way he didn't die. I could nade him, but I don't want to nade him while I'm red health, because if I mess the nade up, it'll kill me. Like, you need to be able to run once you've thrown the grenade, otherwise when it... If you hit the window frame or you just miss the throw, you're fucked. He did shoot me with the same SVD though, so either there was two, which I don't think, or the one I killed uh, had a buddy or a, an alt, alt account on Steam, one or the other. But I don't like just saying alt account, there's no way to prove that. It could have been his mate that logged in, there's just no, no point worrying about it. However, I am convinced that they combat logged, one of these combat logged in that building yesterday. We, we killed, I think we bumped into these in that same building yesterday. Big bag mill. I have a, uh, I have a Audio Technica AT2020 USB mic. No equalization at all on the mic. hoping for a better angle then. That's the angle I wanted.
I don't know. That's the beauty of him having two gate doors. He had to try and get out. Like, if he was in there, he was in there, locked in there. You know, he's got a. Oh my dog. So he can't come out. He should have finished me off, though. I don't understand why he didn't. I'm incredibly lucky that he did. I presume he thought I was dead. Wall banging. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know where he is. I'll just fire all my shots and hope one hits, and I won't even know if it does. He can unlock the gates, dude, but, like, the point is, he probably shot me, went to start unlocking the gates, and by the time he got anywhere near unlocking the gates, I was already gone, you know? Like, he, unlocking both gates and getting out takes longer than the seven or eight seconds I was unconscious, right? So he must have thought I was dead and then tried to get out, and then it was no no go. He may not be in there now, though. He may have left because, like, I was uncon. He probably thought I was dead, so he probably was looking for me. So I wanted to get this angle. I never said anything, Keep but for, I wanted to get buddy. this one because if he looks out that window to the front, I'll shoot him in the back of the head. And if he looks out of this window, I can get him too. So I'm actually quite pleased with this. I'd be incredibly unlucky to get seen here, except from in there, you know, like. I'm just going to hold this for a little while and wait. Even if I wait five or ten minutes, my health's coming back. I might as well wait. I'll give it five minutes or so of just being patient. I want to be sure I'm not going to shoot the inside of this fucking truck. That sounded like the bear was aggroed for a sec, didn't it? Drop from 10 minutes to 5 minutes as TMZ runs out guns blading immediately. <laughs> Pinkster, you've been here before. Uh, Angberg, Russell, thank you very much. Uh, libra lib librarianist, uh, thank you very much for the new sub. Cheers to the other guys for the resub. Hemisan. John Stubb, Leaf, Bad Mofo, and JW Fighter, thank you. And Zonark, thank you, thank you as well. Hi Tickle, you're right, dude. What a name. Tickle my stinky. Hello. I don't think the bear aggroed at all, it just made the aggro sound. Sometimes they make that noise, it's not aggro, we'll hear it roar again soon. Sheepdog, if you manually renew with Twitch Prime, thank you for doing it by the way, nothing comes up. You have to wait a little while and then you get a notification in the chat to type a message. So if you've not typed in a message, no alert comes up. So like Movemaker saying, if you refreshed, was that what was that there? I thought I saw something. It's time to Did.
That's why he feels horrendous. What the bear's close. I don't want to try and wall bang him. It won't, I won't even know if it hits. It's not worth it. But I, obviously we know where he is. He may just wait. He may just wait. At least I know a grenade in there is likely to kill him now. But It's time to start. I can't bait him with the pistol, Der Hass. If I shoot the pistol now, I probably get the bear aggroed on me. It's really close. He definitely didn't, Granddaddy. This is a base, in case you've not been here very long. He's behind two base walls. He's not coming out of there. You can see flies, look. So somebody definitely died. Now you can see the flies. That was a premature what the shit. So I want to try and get a grenade in there. I'm not going to do anything with an aid until I'm white health. What is the end game here, Whackgatter? I want to kill this one. There's somebody running back. I want to kill this one and then uh, wait till somebody runs back. Open them, kill them when they run. Open the front door. That's the end game. Lima, 200 is the lowest it can go. Bikini, yeah, but if they're behind two base walls, I can't take their stuff, right? Flying this... So, basically, for anyone that's just joined like you, I got shot from inside there. It's walled off. It's a base. I got shot from inside there by an SVD. I've killed him. And you can actually see, or you could, maybe he's chopped him up now, but you could see flies just above the windowsill. So I know there was somebody dead there. And then miraculously, not long later, I got shot from inside the base by an SVD by another dude. So uh, I've been shot unconscious, should be dead, but I probably got saved by his own base walls, slowing him down. I'm probably going to fuck this up. actually thrown a grenade in a while.
Fuck! I am. How cool are those sounds? Not sure if he's accurate right at me or not. It does sound stuck. But it might be stuck because there's a dude. It might be stuck with a dude, like, sh trapped in a house, you know? It might be aggroed on someone else. Jesus. This has been a lot of fun. Now, if the one I killed, if I were one of these that I killed, I think I wish I had a lockpick. <laughs> that grenade at, that zombie outside, did I kill that? I don't think I did, did I? That's exactly what I was just doing, Wetzel. I just saw your message, but yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. If I if I close the door, I'll see it if they open it. Or I'm more likely to notice if they open it. I just see movement there again. I feel like I just saw movement in the window again. I wish I'd saved the other grenade, because if there's another one logged in, I could have used it. Oh, I'm never going to get the stamina back. I'm going to leave those for now. I was trying to get the stamina to jump on the house, but I'm never going to get it. It's time to start running! W. Dude, thank you for the resub. Uh, Dorset, thank you as well.
uh fred astray uh nando sheepdog thank you for the bits and the resubs and things thank you Well, they might have been. He might have carried on throwing stuff out. He was throwing the meat out from the inside, wasn't he? See the door. I wish I could base that. I wish I could raid that base, but I can't. I'm just, I'm just waiting. I'm pretty sure I've killed the dude inside, but I've no idea what to do now. Like I, I can't raid it. I can't get in there before the loot disappears. Even if I hadn't just wasted my four grenades killing the dude, uh, I still couldn't get in there. Because I'd need eight or nine grenades for the downstairs at least, and then the same again for the up. I've got a couple of melee weapons but that, that I've just dropped behind a tree somewhere, but they won't be enough on their own either. I'm going to ruin my jacket. So what I'm re doing right now, I did kill one originally, right? And and then there was the other guy. I, If you remember that when we were here the other day, there was three talking in VoIP. So let's just assume they're all legit players, right? Forgetting that there was three together. Maybe they've built a base there. Maybe they're not the same group. But if there's three and they're legit, I killed one there. I killed two inside there. One of the early ones could be running back by now. Oh, there's no way he didn't die. Even if he tried to log off, that grenade would have killed him. I'd be staggered if the, both of those grenades went in, and they both went at slightly different angles, so I'd be staggered if the, the grenades didn't kill him in there. Like, it's a small room. Even if he was logging out, I think the grenades would have killed him. Go climb on the roof, roof of the one story. Well, that's no good for... I don't think there's anyone alive inside, and when somebody comes to open there, they're going to see me before they get to the building, so that's no good. I think we might be done here. I doubt there's much more I can do.
He could have come out of the uh, gate and be in the in the back room, I guess. But I, I, unless his inside base wall was open, he could be alive in the back bit, I suppose. And then if he did, he would have looked out, I suppose. If we wait another ten minutes or so, we can go up to the house and we'll see if we can hear flies. Gene, I, I waste... Well, I didn't waste them, but I used my four grenades killing the dude in the house, I believe. Throwing grenades through the window, so... It might have slightly damaged the upper base wall, but not enough to do much. I'm not going to chop up the bear. Not right now, no. I've got a can attack back. I'm not going to die chopping up a bear. Hi, no, it's not the house to the right. There's only one double-fronted house. It's this one. There's only one way into this house. Use the door exploit. I, I, I'm not exploiting my way through the, the base wall, dude. I don't know how, and I don't want you to tell me how, by the way, but no, I'm not getting in illegitimately. I either get in right or I don't get in at all. I can see them when they go in, gentlemen. Uh, you open the door from the right. Well, I'll see them go in. I, I, like, when they open the door, they've then got to do the... Uh, I'm not going to shoot them from here, but it takes a little while to do the padlock, right? So if I see them go here, I'll then reposition was my plan, but I'm thinking of moving for a sec. Like, all I had to do was just kind of come out here, like, wait till he feels safe, and then just come up this way. The only way to open a base wall is to destroy the fence. You can't do anything with the lock pick. Anything with the padlock. You've got to destroy the fence entirely. Which needs either plastic explosives, quite a few, well, at least two. Uh, this is someone in the chat's idea. I did see someone say, cut the tree down. I think we'll do that. Uh, you either need plastic explosives or you need uh, lots and lots of grenades or lots and lots and lots of bullets. Or you need, as someone else has just said, you need a lot of patience and some melee weapons. Holy fuck! One sec, dude. Thank you for the gifted subs. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you for the gifting, gifting five subs. That's very, very kind, dude. Makes it much easier if he happens to log back in or somebody does get back up there. <clears throat> I don't know how long to give this, but I'm pretty sure I've killed them now. There's no way he's still in there. I'm, I, he has to be dead. I want to give it... I don't know how long since I threw the grenades, but I feel like it's probably been the best part of ten minutes. I want to give it about five more minutes. We know he cut the other body up to get rid of the flies. So I want to go up there soon and see if we can hear flies.
<laughs> All right. I'm not. St if you were in a group, you could maybe do that. But as a lone wolf, I'm not standing with my back to that door. Even if it only took five or ten minutes to do a three lock thing, right? I'm not standing with my back to it. Well, there's a chance that you could just run up and kill me with a sledgehammer. You only have three guesses. Uh, Skegness, Chester, and York. There you go. Like an, uh, the lights out flag uh, is on all Livonia servers, unless a community server takes it off. So it's definitely unofficial on all platforms. GTS, the body's miles away from despawning. Absolutely miles away. <gasps> the fact that the zombie's still there makes me wonder. I might be near enough to stop that despawning. Or maybe there's maybe he's still alive. Hola. Any chance of a better angle? Lyra me, I, I like where I am. It's not just about the best angle, it's about the best angle where I'm not going to get deaded so easily. This feels like it. It looks great. Uh, I was with a random and he could read the names on the armband while in game, right? So he could read it from like like close up, but he could read the names. Unless he just knew the names already, but didn't seem to. The only thing is, I didn't actually find the flag. It was just an armband in a bush with some food next to a hunting stand. So it was left by left by players. Lost storm cutting the tree down gave me a much well a, a pretty much perfect angle into the windows where the people might be. If there's one more friend or possible alt account, they might log in up there, mightn't they? Zombie still there? It is. 
does make me wonder. Probably been long enough for flies, but I'm just waiting till I've uh, finished eating my, my boikers. Ice Rage, the way I'm not, the reason I'm not moving, and I don't know for sure he's dead, but I'm pretty sure he is, is that I think one of them's going to run back. I can't get in the base, but I could maybe kill one after they've opened a door. I really need to raid this. We might we might go and try and get some gear and come back and raid. I'm eating uh, cheeseburgers with lettuce, ketchup, uh, tomato sauce, but not in buns in uh, in pita gluten free pita bread. Be decent. It's time to start running. What happened to our friend Callum? Billy he had to log out. How long do I think it well I'm I'm gonna need there's two base walls, so I'm gonna need like 300 rounds for the org and about 12 grenades. Is it something or is it my imagination? Very good. Oh, right. Cheap cheeseburgers have eaten. The mic is back close to my mush. The fact that the dude is still, sorry, the zombie is still outside. I am probably close enough to make that zombie not de-aggro myself. <laughs> now we know we got him. So you can hear flies, he's definitely dead. Slight gamble here, but I'm going to run a few hundred meters away. I'm hoping that I can get far enough away to cause that zombie to despawn, and then when I come back, it won't look like there's anybody there. Oh no, you're right. I could probably bury that zombie with the pick. I'll try this first, but yeah, I can. That's a good shout. I could probably bury the zombie with the pick if this doesn't work. It was a convoy. 
a convoy at some point and they've swapped jackets so I've got the sloppy second jacket whereabouts am I on the map uh, south of uh, Topolin near the new town that's name escapes me I think that'll do. I'm going to run back. Well, you can spawn in Toppling, MT, so if you've got a Toppling spawn, you could be back in 15 minutes. AI Gollum, dude, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. Billy Bullets, thank you very much as well. AI, dude, thank you again. Very kind. And Tebzilla, cheers for the prime. Thank you. I don't know if I've gone far enough away there. I think I have. Have a little practice go on this one. Bear gone. I think the bear's gone. <coughs> yeah, look, that worked. I think he couldn't get me for the greenhouse. I was stood here. The greenhouse saved me. Really want somewhere I can see, but they can't see me, and I'm really struggling. Subby, subby, sub, sub. <laughs> the initial dude dead up here must be gone as well by now. That's his pistol. Right, I'm going to give it another couple of minutes and then I'm going to give up and then we'll just go off looking for stuff to get uh, to do base raids with. If we can go back, go and loot like loads of grenades and stuff, we can make that our mission. It's time to start running.
why Barry Zed's because I'm waiting for players to come back and if they come back and they're smart they'll have a really good look round for me they'll probably see me uh, which is why I preferred this location and I think I'm going to go back there like where I am anywhere else I'm out in the open in here I think I see them before they see me I can't kill them at the door so easily but I think I, see, I doubt they'll see me Uh, but yeah, I buried the zombie because I'm trying my best to make it look like there's not many players around. Now, I did kill a couple just over by the road there, but they're far enough out of town that they probably won't see. And if they do, if they're the only ones they see, they're going to think, well, he's killed these zombies on the way out. He's gone. You know, like, I don't want any zombies dead left in the town so that they don't think I'm still here. Watchful GG, dude. Hope it goes well. Trees do come back after restart. Yeah. Delta. Da, da, da. To be fair, I didn't actually find the flag. I found one armband. Oh, I got lucky. Someone else had it, and they just discarded one. I'd still like to get the flag at some point, but that can wait for another day. That that feels cool. We don't know for sure they're coming back, but it's been like 20 minutes now. The reason I'm waiting and hoping someone comes back is that they've got an SVD in there. They're not going to be that geared. The patch only started yesterday. They're not going to be that geared that an SVD isn't a painful loss, right? So they're going to want to get uh, they're going to want to get back. And so my plan, if I can, I can't fully raid the base, but what I can do is try to kill them after they've opened the first door. And once they've opened the first door, I can kill them, lock the first door with my own padlock uh, command, like pick my own pin code. Uh, then I can lock it. Although I can't remember how to lock it. I'll have to like fluff it around. I can't remember how to do it. But if I can get the first door my key code, I can then go and find the stuff to get the second one and take it over that way. That could be kind of fun. Desolate, it takes uh, it takes like uh, eight, eight or I think it might be ten, but way too many. It's quite a it's quite a small chance of succeeding, even if somebody does show up. Because uh, if they show up, that's great. But the chances of me hitting the shot just at the right moment when the padlock's opened and they are standing still, so if I can position correctly, it should be okay. But Hotfix, the flag is uh, from the lights out event, if it was you that I was asking. I think it was. But yeah, at the end of the three-part series that just finished on Sunday, the last little minute or two shows it, but or 30 seconds. But uh, it's a game, an item that devs have added that Muller had made that signifies the lights out event uh, where Sauer, Muller and myself played together. And... Uh, I finished like fifth and Muller finished third and you had to finish in the top three to get a win. So, uh, it's time to start yeah, it was it was a good event. Just like to say good luck to the Owls on Monday, TRMZ love. Keeney, dude. Playoff, playoff finally. The only reason I'm waiting is because they've got the SVD. Like you, or VSD as it is in the game. That's a rare gun. It's a very good gun as well. So I feel like it's a big enough prize they might run back. But I've got not much more time left in me. I'm a lazy man. Well, yeah, I, our team got a third spot, Muller. Yeah, and that was... I think our aim all along was to get one of us in the, in the final three. I mean, it would have been great. Imagine if all three of us had been there. We could have had a flag each.
that two minutes is over now. I think that's enough. I'm bored now. I think I'm going to have to go and get some headache pills, actually. I've got a bit of a headache. Probably because I've not eaten enough, but now I've eaten it, it might go away. Don't someone tell me to hydrate. I'm drinking more, more water than is probably healthy. <laughs> it's definitely not lack of hydration. I've not actually, I'm kind of fairly balanced today, but I've had quite a bit of water. Thought that rock was a player crouched at the well for a second. How do you try to open it? Like, if it was on the right number? I can't even remember. I think it just opens when it's on the right number, doesn't it? Please use grenades on the door. Scoobs, uh, if you've got the nades, I'll use them. Yeah, going prone on the lower roof of the log cabin might be okay, but they're likely to come to the house from here, and I don't see how they don't see me. Scoops, you're missing one vital point to this plan. I don't have any grenades. Drop three grenades that you don't have, and then explode them with the fourth grenade that you don't have, is, is your plan. One and only, that's not an exploit. I, like, I would agree it was an exploit, exploit, were it not for the fact that I've spent the last six years just running off the ladder anyway. I very rarely climb down the ladder, right? So it's not like I realised there was a bug and then started pressing W off the ladder. Forever, I've always just ran off the ladder. It's not my fault that it's fucking bugged. Now, I'm not going to start getting the ladder. Yeah, yeah I ain't buying that one. I, I call him bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> it's time to start running. The running males, man dead. Running males, chain males. Uh, cheers for the support, Vertigo. Pluting. Streams are awesome. Thank you. It's been a really good little run today, I have to say. Really good. Timothy Olsen, Keeney, Watchful, thank you for the resub. Tompty, thank you as well. Lawrence, thank you for the new sub. Vertigo, thank you again. Um, I'm red ballooning hard here, but I was hoping we might see someone coming up the hill. There's someone coming, there's someone coming. I've just seen him coming down. Oh my god. Must move faster. He might have seen me. There's a new spawn looking dude coming down the hill right now. Is 
biggest worry here is I aggro a shitload of Zeds, and I, I, I might get myself in bother. I think I've got to go for this house. I think my original plan was the better plan. I just need to know when he's going there and I've got to reposition right quick. Possibly he's not related, but I'm sure he will be. No, can he shut? Can I didn't think he could do that. <laughs> what? No way you got in that quick. He he can't have got in that quick. He's probably realised I'm here now, unfortunately, unless he's just ran round the back looking for evidence of me being there and somehow he's missed me, but that sucks. How do you lock it from the inside? I've never. I think you could just put it on, don't you? He's done it. The keypad is different. The code has changed. He's inside. 
He <laughs> went straight there. I thought he would look around. The flies are gone, though. It wasn't. It was something 107 or something like that. It wasn't 222. Oh, it still is. It still is that. Fucking hell, it's the same number. Do you know what I've done? I've looked at the code lock. The code lock doesn't change. It's still the same number, my God. He didn't get in. That's just me, an idiot. Me being an idiot. It's still the same number. I think he ran to it and then didn't go in. Which means he's probably watching me now. That's got to be one of them, though, for sure. He might. He might have done this. He might have come near to the house and then logged off outside so that he could go and get back in later when I'm not around, if he knows I'm here, of course. But I'm just going to look for the dude, I think. No way it wasn't him. He went straight to the house. I think he was checking to see if he'd been raided or not, but he didn't go in. I think he's come to see if he's been base raided and then logged out nearby. He's n he's heard no flags, so he knows his guns aren't there. So he's just fucked it off. That's what I think. You can't hacksaw the code lock. Like, unless you know something, like, yeah. I <laughs> the only way to break into a base is to destroy the wall. I need ten grenades for the first wall and ten grenades for the second wall. Did I leave the door open? I presume I did. Scoobs, it was five grenades for wall several patches ago, but shit changes, dude.
Right, he moved a bear trap. Fuck me dead. I wonder if that was my plan when I when I uh, just did that. a blaze. Sorry, it was a Mosin, not blaze. Got him again. He's just lost MVGs. Probably calling me a hacker right now, but... <laughs> that is cool! He's also going to lose the Mosin as well. So he must have got in there quick, right? What do we do? It's on the middle digit. Does that imply that the middle digit changed? I think I skipped a digit, didn't I? I skipped eight, maybe. It was originally four one oh seven. That implies the four and the seven are actually the same. Seven one oh seven. It's time to start running. Does it go random? If it went random, how would it be 1, 7 be the same number?
I, I don't, dude, that was too many words for, oh, I've just missed one there, I think. You can hold it and let it cycle, and if it's correct, it will uh, it will reset, will it? Well, we ain't going to have a lot of luck then. It's randomised when they put it back on the gate. Oh god, I nearly stood on my own bear trap. <clears throat> Learning so much about base building I don't do right now, right? You can tell I don't do much base raiding as well. So he ran back. I wonder if anyone else is going to run back. That was beautiful that just standing on the very eaves of the building I could hit him. It was fucking beautiful. I hope he doesn't get back again. Then he's they've lost MVGs as well. Why don't I like I don't dislike base building, Peggy. I just can't do it, right? How can I do base building when I'm uh, when I'm streaming where I am, you know? I'm gonna go now, guys. I'm gonna come back. I think we might be able to have more fun with these guys later, but I'm gonna go and start trying to find the stuff to raid that base. I actually, I do think if you, like, I can't base build, so my opinion is slanted, okay? So, start with the caveat that because I'm streaming, I can't really build a base, okay? So, based on that premise, uh, I, I prefer the game with no base building for obvious reasons, but you get much more adventures. For me, personally, the game is much more about the adventure anyway. And if you've got, say you've got an 80-player server and 40 of them are concentrating on burying stashes, hiding loot, building base walls, walling off castles, and defending that. Like that area there, I think there's three players for that house. That's three players that are mostly there. Now it's good in that we can come back and try and kill them again, but it takes three players out of the server. If you're in a 60 pop server, that's 5%, you know? And if you've got that 5% times another three somewhere else and another several, it only takes a few groups and then your server pop feels like it's half as much, you know? Tumor group. Tope does build bases, but he does that on a server where he gets incredible uh, base protection. Uh, sorry, not base protection, stream protection. And, and I'm not saying that's wrong, but I won't have stream protection to that level. So I presume when ba Tope is base building, I might be wrong, but I presume he's probably playing on a particular server where he can uh, get a lot of admin protection. It, were he to get killed by a stream sniper, he can get his gear back, you know... It, they might have uh, like code locks and rules about base building and such like as well, but uh, if you're playing on vanilla, there's none of that, is there? There's no, there's no, uh, there's no code locks. There's no protection. Like some servers, like for example, Karma Crew. Oh God, Karma Crew in the past. Fucking hell! I, I just missed it. All times on the bounce. Karma Crew in the past have had rules about like, how much base loot you could take from base building. Not saying they've got that now, but they had rules specifically about base raids and what you could and couldn't do, you know. Or oh, Tumor Groove, stream sniping is a big deal if you... Do you not think, right, if I spent 10 hours building a base and got killed doing it, I'm not going to get my gear back, am I? You know, I'm not going to get teleported back to my base to carry on building it, you know. That's a huge difference. Of course it is, right? The reason why I don't want to build a base is that I'm open to stream sniping and that's that. You know what? I know I've got some good kills and whatnot, but, but I've been sat around that area so long, my elbow's cold as you fucking like. 37 months, even my missus is jealous at this point. So, and there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. It's up to servers and up to streamers what they do. I'm not judging it in the slightest, you know. I, I like Tope. Loads of respect for him, he's a mate. I like him a lot, so I'm not judging. 
there's just a difference between Tope and myself, and there's no right or wrong. There's just what you do, you know, and, and my belief is that if I die, even if I categorically believe it's a stream sniper, I don't want to be spawned back there and get my loot back, because to a wider audience, some people aren't going to believe it. No matter what I say, no matter how much proof I have, I'm opening myself up to 10% of my audience thinking he's, he's having us on here, he's getting special benefits because he's a streamer. I don't want that misconception, like 3,000, 4,000 people here, I don't want 300 or 400 people thinking I'm getting benefits because I'm a streamer. So a, a good example of that, I got stream sniped on uh, Greyman when Greyman was up and Sacriel actually sent me a whisper, he was streaming and he sent me a Twitter DM, sorry. And after they'd looked into it and they'd realised that the guy was a stream sniper, they offered to teleport me back or to give me my gear, and I refused. Now I knew it, I knew the dude was a stream sniper, but I don't. My audience don't know the same as I do, and I I don't want that. Garfield, blimey! How old was Tina Turner? Well, a piston broke. He was the admin in that scenario. Yeah, he was. He was the admin. Eighty-three. Fucking hell, she was older than I thought. I thought she was like late sixties, early seventies. I think it's cool, by the way. I think it's very cool that Tope's able to do some of that while streaming. I, I would love to, I would love to have like a base building, base raiding series for YouTube that I could make. I just can't do it while streaming. Can't do it. Elegant, yeah. That's the thing. She's not been in films for very long, you know, like for a very long time. I mean, and so, like, people don't age, you know, like. There was a lot of stuff recently about pictures being shared of Gene Hackman and, uh, uh, oh, dude, original, original Joker from the, not the original Joker, but from the Tim Burton film. I can't remember his name. Here's Johnny. Uh, him. Anyway, Jack Nicholson. Thank you, Big Kev. That's bad, isn't it? Now, that's how the way my brain works. At least I got it when you said Jack, but yeah. Uh, but, like, Gene Hackman is, like, 90 now. But to me, Gene Hackman is still Little Bill from Unforgiven, you know? It, like, in a way, actors are a little bit more timeless unless they stay acting. You know, once an actor retires, they're kind of frozen in a way. And Tina Turner, I know she's a singer as well, but same difference, right? Uh, like, if you think of Clint Eastwood, you think of him in Gran Torino and more recent things. I don't think of Clint Eastwood necessarily and instantly think of I don't know the outlaw Josie Wales or a few dollars more or whatever I think of the things he's done more recently Lex Luthor is another good one yeah yeah Two men enter, one man leave. Well, maybe it's just me, but I, because they're still in the popular culture, Clint Eastwood is still about. He's still really... like Same with Harrison Ford. I know Harrison Ford for what he's done, but if I think Harrison Ford, I put a picture in my head, I think of him now. Because he's still in the mainstream, you know? like Or really close to now. Like, maybe like Crystal... Crystal fucking meth of a Indiana Jones film, you know, but... Jesus, that sounded more like a siren, didn't it?
sort of slightly changing the tone a little bit, but it's a bit of a it's a strange thing that when you when you lose a close family member, lots of people will have it, but how you remember them flits between times. Oh god. I guess I should have known he was coming really. Right, that's better. Two for two this time. Fuck's sake, I'm pissing blood here. My, my aim has just gone. Completely. Completely gone. He should be running away. It's weird, because I am playing well today, but right now I've just lost it completely. It's really weird how, how I am as a daisier. I wish I had more, more like regular. Like it just, it's just like in fits and starts. I can feel like I'm playing really well. It, it might be different if I start getting shot at by players. It might be different instantly. But right now, it's just not there. You know, I can't, I can't shoot to save my fucking life. The new Indiana Jones film has been polarised in the uh, reviews a little bit. Some people saying it's not very good, it's better than uh, the last one, but it's still not great. Other people saying it's kind of a fitting ending or whatever, you know, but by and large it looks like the reviews are broadly negative, but not as bad as the last one. I've got to be honest, not as bad as the last one is an improvement as far as I'm concerned. I was expecting much more of the same. Red stick learned how not to shoot not not to shoot wolves. I reckon. Oh, the last one was shocking. I, I think it's uh, it's it, 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 I saw it at the cinema, and there was elements of it that I liked. But uh, I I like uh, I like Shia LaBeouf, but I didn't particularly like him in that. And what's her name? The the, the girl that was in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I, I can't remember her actress name. But the one that was uh, like the, the love interest and like female part of it in Raiders. Marion, I think her name is. Not not Kate Blanchett, Marion. The one that was in the original one. Karen Allen. Uh, Marion Atwood, maybe her, her name is in the, in the show. Bill. It, I've never seen and well I have seen it once or twice before there's there's a character in one of the Star Wars Star Wars 8 that has the same she just looked constantly like overjoyed to be there if that makes sense it, in in crystal she was like she was like like almost like every whatever she was meant to be doing she had this great big beaming smile on her face like yeah I'm back in it I'm back in the game <laughs> uh, she was just like overly happy Do you believe Chelsea can beat Old Trafford? I believe they definitely will beat them, and then Manu will lose on Saturday, Sunday as well. I believe it. I believe. I believe in the power of positive thinking. And I believe that Man United are going to shit the bed and lose their next two games. I believe it. And if you believe it, then maybe you can make it so. Yeah, I know that, picky bugger, but I can still believe it. You're a Newcastle fan, right? So you you can lord it over us for a, for a little while, right? But the wheels will come sort of come off sooner or later. It goes in cycles. I I don't uh, I don't try to lord. I know I've kind of had a bit of fun about the whole uh, Arsenal bottling it, which they did. But uh, nonetheless, I uh, I'm try to be fairly open-minded. It would be fucking hilarious if Manu Manu bottled it at the last second. Conceive, believe, achieve. Hmm.
That was a lot of fun. Even if we don't do any more with those guys at that base, that was loads of fun. I'd like to find a helmet, actually. been ages since I drank, so we might as well uh, do that right now. Fucking hell, that zombie uh, got me a little bit twitchy. That was well worth it. Yesterday this had a lot of military loot in it, but now it seems to have kind of settled down a bit. Now, is this actually in the gas zone, or is it not? I don't think it is. Ever killed a zombie only to realise it's a player? Uh, not yet. I'm too much of an observationalist, you know. I'd never, I'd never not realise there was a player around. I never miss them, you know. God, over the years I've made some howlers. I remember running over a player in in the in the game while, uh, like, literally running over them while streaming. But if you're not looking at the screen, you're not looking at the screen, right? But I was running through a forest and ran over a prone player. And didn't even know, just carried on. <laughs> Obviously the chat told me, but I didn't go back, I just carried on. V, yeah, I did know that. You have to get them while the servers, while the gas is there though, because they respawn. It's weird, isn't it? Why is that, why is that red? What's Lewis Hamilton's rookie card? I don't even know what that is. Is that, that like the motor racing card or something? There's some rumblings that Lewis Hamilton's that like Ferrari are wanting him. I think that would be interesting. I don't think he's got another title in him at Mercedes or Ferrari probably, but uh, it would be interesting to see him go. That, that would be kind of cool. I presume it's like his card as in like his license or something. I really like Leclerc. I've not I've not seen much of this season, but I like Leclerc from I watched season 1 of the Netflix show or maybe some of season 2 or most of it, I can't remember, but I liked Leclerc more after that. I, I liked him anyway, but I like him more now. Like Leclerc was like the golden boy at Ferrari for a while, but it seems like they're looking for extra now. I know they've already got Perez as well, but... It's the sort of thing you can see them doing. That's the kind of thing Ferrari do, you know. They 
they get the driver when it's just a little bit too late. They do that quite a bit. I think the driver's a massive important part of it, but Ferrari haven't had the best car in forever, have they? It does feel like they're closer recently. They've been second best quite often, but... Oh my god, Dead Dog, that was a long time ago. It was on stream as well, yeah. I made a video of it. I went prone. I was I was looking to my right to, to re-chat. Went prone out of, like, just automatic, and then looked back, and I was lying prone next to a guy. <laughs> it was a sports card, was it? I didn't even know they did, like, sports cards for F1. A Daisy Plurit Pro, so good players think he's a hacker. Hmm. Reedy Legend, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. I should be facing in that. Well, I'm facing where the enemy's likely to come from. Seems to be the right approach to me. Matt, uh, I can't say I was a massive fan of the Tina Turner songs. Uh, occasionally, simply the best, and when you're in the right frame of mind, can be an absolute banger. I can see, like, why I, I, Chris Eubank had it. Like, if you play it loud enough, it is, it is quite a good song. A 16 year old kid pulled it out of a pack. I don't even know what that means. I, I don't understand what type of card can be worth a million. That's insane. How do I get one of these cards? Everyone's off out to work. Like fucking about, like doing what they're doing, making delivery, working in hospitals and all sorts. There's twats finally like me playing video games, and then there's fuckers opening up a pack and getting million million pound the cards. On 1 .21 have been great. Angry chair, dude. Thank you. I've been having a lot of fun on Livonia. It's been cool. Shit face drunk. Uh, don't know. I don't even remember what we were saying. Any comments about my new boss? What, Mark? Or who is my new boss? I don't know of my new boss. Is Joita my new boss? Oh, it, oh, is the survivors changed hands, is it? Blimey. I'm not surprised. He's got, he's got the baby on the way. I'm not surprised. So was that announced today, was it? Who am I going to report her ageism to now? <laughs> That's kind of cool, you know that. I, like when uh, when I started the survivors. Uh, Joito and Happy Bombs were the first two people that I kind of thought about setting the team up for. The pair of them equal, really. Like, I'd been in a different stream team, and those guys had been banging away, doing pretty well, and for whatever reason weren't quite where they might have been for the other team. So I was like, well, if I had a team, it'd be people like them that I would get straight away. They've been playing the game for like five years. Why aren't they? I don't understand. So it's kind of cool that uh, Joito's now running the running the joint. I'm gonna have another bottle of wa bottle of water. Survivors of the Tottenham of Daisy stream teams. All right.
It's Pingu. I'm afraid uh, who goes in the team is completely out of my hands. You know, I could get kicked out for all I know, but yeah, I, the reason I'm I gave up the uh, gave up the running of it. I mean, I started the team, right? But the reason I gave up the running of it is because I didn't have the time to do it all. And same same for Ish now. You know, like like Ish is about to have a have a little, and he's going to have a lot more responsibilities. Well, I had them all along. You know, admittedly slightly older kids, and they don't live with me, but. Every other weekend the kids are here, half of all the holidays the kids are here. I've got got a fiancé, a house that we were kind of trying to spruce up and all sorts. I'd, and also wow. editing and YouTube and whatnot. I just ran out of time to give it its proper attention. So, long answer, but it ain't up to me who goes in it. And I don't want any partner who goes in it who don't. Not that I don't care, but I don't have the time to care. Did I get down on one knee? Uh, neck beard. No. We were in bed. I had this plan to uh, ask her to marry me, right? And I had this plan. And we went out for a walk. Uh, we went out for a walk. And we were in London for the weekend. And we went out for a walk. And I was going to do it that night. We'd had a nice meal. And we were going down to the River Thames. And it was really hot, but... She had a really bad knee. Like my missus get sometimes, especially when it's hot in the summer, she gets a really bad knee. And she was in agony. She was in, like, really bad pain. And she weren't very happy as a result. And so I, I, I delayed. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't pop the question when I was going to. And I waited till the next morning when she woke up and had the engagement ring on the pillow kind of thing. And uh, we still haven't got married yet, and that was uh, a fair whack ago now. That was like 2017. But uh, we didn't, we weren't living together at that time. We've managed to get moved in a, another year or so down the line from there. Lockdowns are delayed stuff. We're now spending like crazy money on kitchens and things, you know. It'll happen, but... Is that so wacko? What's stopping you getting hitched? Well, I just explained, explain, Pilgrims. Like, we were getting kind of close to about the right time. And, uh, like, 2020 cropped up. And then there was, like, two years of all sorts of issues. Weddings were all off, you know. But, like, 18 months, weddings were just, like, complete. We wrote it off, right? So we didn't do it. We've come out of lockdown. Last year, my dad died. Uh... Full, full details. My missus got pregnant in June. She miscarried really quickly after six weeks. And it just it's just everything got... Last year was a very bad year. Uh, so, yeah, I, it's just been delayed with lots and lots of reasons. Someone's been here. Thanks, Ryan. That sucks. Yeah, last year was a pretty shit year, you know. Like, we were, we got the, we got the puppy in. Uh, my, my dad died in January. Had the funeral in February. Got the puppy in April. The puppy was a nightmare for the rest of the year. Like, absolutely awful. Like, we regretted having him. Now we don't, but then we did. He was just really bad for, like, biting, making... Like, not just puppy biting, but bad. Anyway, the puppy was a nightmare. Uh, we were hoping that things might happen, and she fell pregnant, and that, and that didn't work out. We had a holiday booked in August that was meant to be all of us going, but then the dog was such a nightmare. We were planning on leaving the dog with uh, my other half's mum, but because the other, my other half's mum was... Uh, sorry, because the dog was such a bad dog, we couldn't leave him with my other half's mum. So I had to go on the holiday with my miss, my, with my mum and my two kids. So my missus didn't get to come on holiday, which is also another one, you know. At, like, last year there was like, it was just shit. The whole, online, last year was the best year I ever had. With the streaming and the YouTube and stuff, it was my best year by miles. Uh, both in terms of the fun I had in the game, but also how the channel went, both channels and so on, you know. like. But in real life, that last year was probably my worst year, you know. Netbeard, of course she does, yeah. Normally, uh, like, as a rule, me and, me and my, my missus, obviously the kids are mine, not hers. She's like stepmom, you know. Uh, no jokes needed. But 
Well, normally we go away for a week and it's we go away all together. And then later on we go away, just me and her, for a week somewhere, just like as a holiday, you know, like... But we haven't been on a holiday like that for, uh... We haven't been on a holiday like that since 2019. So, yeah, we're, we're not doing very well on that. I'm your best man. Chat demands it. Uh, I believe I believe best men pay for three quarters. Oh, there's a convoy. I believe best men pay for three, three quarters of the, the, the costs, don't they? Hullhawk. Yeah, yeah, they do. I don't want to go into too much, uh, like, real-world style. Obviously, I've just covered a lot of things that are, like, in the past. But one thing I can say, though, they do get on really well. But it's a really hard thing. Like, I, have, I know my kids don't live here, which is not so hard. But it is a hard thing to adjust to, like, for the kids and for her and for me and everyone. Oh, my word. I wish we still had our buddy. I obviously saw the FAMAS. I might get it. I might not. I might just take the bullets. I don't know. It is a tough challenge, you know, like, no matter what, like, the kids get on well, but it's really hard for them to adapt, no matter what. It, like, they've had to, the kids have had to go through a lot. It's just one of those things, like, uh, they get on well with my, my other half, but secretly they're always going to want their parents to get back together, I think, you know, like, that's just, like, they wouldn't say it now. They probably did say it five years ago, but... You can use claymores on bases, but they don't do very much. They're, they're not much more than a grenade, I don't think. So you... You'd need a lot of them. somewhat surprised that it's only a FAMAS. After months of watching you on the big telly, the missus now says, the car, yo, and up your bum on a regular basis. Up your bum. <laughs> uh, well, that's cool. Uh, Mountain, thank you very much for for the for the support as well, dude. Oh, this has been unlucky. We could do level one and two. We've got the key card will give us more than one access, right? So we can do level one and two. Try and get lots of ammo, maybe lots of grenades. We can't get the night vision goggles and the orge X, but. We could potentially get a shitload of, of grenades and stuff like that. That would be really cool. Isn't FAMAS and Orge one kind of redundant? Possibly, but I just picked it up with a... with a kind of wait and see what I'm going to do thought process. Especially with regards to... Uh, base raiding. The FAMAS is a tiny bit more powerful. So... I could maybe get loads of bullets, use the FAMAS to break down the base, but use the other one as the gun for now. The FAMAS is really much, much better at, like, real close quarters, like, inside a building. But it's not quite so good at further away, perhaps, you know, like, I don't know.
Put keycard in pouches. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. Just in case anyone's unsure. The pouches act like a protector case even when they're on the vest, so you, nothing inside gets ruined. Uh, Mountain Goat, thanks for the 90 months. Sick Sickacy, thank you for the Prime. Leventris, thanks for the bits. Angry Chair, thank you very much once again, dude. Loot Goblin. <laughs> Gotta go for a piss. <laughs> uh, I had a really nice message from a viewer the other day, similar to similar to what you just said, Mountain Goat. Uh, very nice message at the end of the twelve-hour stream, and I won't name them, but uh, about how they watched the stream and they enjoyed watching the stream, and one day they were watching with their other half, uh, their their wife, and and now she started watching and she doesn't even game. But she really enjoys the streams, but not for the gameplay. And uh, how, like, when he's been watching and she comes back from work or whatever, he's like, oh, what, how, how has it been today kind of thing. And I find that kind of thing really cool, you know. Like, it's, that's stupidly cool for me because it's hard to fathom that anyone that's not playing DayZ would enjoy my bollocks, you know. Not literally. <laughs> Nobody enjoys those. They're so much bigger than my cock. <laughs> but, yeah, the, uh, the, it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, Sikissi, thank you for the prime, dude. Queen Collie, you've never played Daisy. That's crazy. <laughs> Even first me over the chase, blimey, Baron. <laughs> CVD, you think I talk it down because it's actually like 12 inches, do you? How's the 75 go? Say now, so far so good. I'm liking it. Yeah, I'm, I am liking it a lot. I feel so... It's only, I'm only on day six right now. I keep feeling like blackout when I... Day six, my friends, day six. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm only on day six, but I feel really much better. I know. I've, I'm not... It's not like I've lost like... 50 pounds or 30 pounds or whatever you know I've, I've lost a bit but I feel so much healthier mainly because of the not drinking though it's not really the 75 thing it's just the not drinking it's, it, I feel so much better funky oh that's cool dude Can I put the day count in my title? Oh Wish god. I could play at your level. Love watching the stream. Thanks, man. Bikini, I've got to be honest. I wish that 90% of the time I could play at my 10% level, if that makes sense. Somebody used the word consistency earlier, which is the word I was reaching for and not finding, but I wish I could play like within 20% of my best more often. Cuz I seem to be within 20% of my worst at least half as much or at least twice as much. Thing is though, a lot of Daisy, there's nobody there. There's nobody there. Because there's no zombie spawned. A lot of Daisy is uh, just luck, you know. Like we've had a few deaths recently. I, I killed a dude at the airfield the other day and was flanking around looking for his mate, and I flanked straight into his barrel. He was 30 meters away, but I was up against it, you know. If you're playing on your own, no matter what you do, sometimes you're just going to get dicked, you know. We went running towards shots the other day at, at Starry Yard, and I stopped in a really good spot to overwatch. Saw the guy, but he had a mate that was further back in the tree, and I was just headshotted. You know, like there's there's not much you could do. It, it's a tricky thing if you're lone wolf. One pair of eyes against many pairs of eyes. Did I find my flag? Yep. That's me on the back, but when you see it on the arm, you actually see it there. So yeah, there we go. Look, that's me. Yeah. <sighs> 
But yeah, hello, Dale, by the way. Now, I did get lucky. I haven't actually found the flag. Uh, I was playing with a random. He had to log out. And uh, he found, a, a like, a stash of, like, meat and stuff in a bush. And I just went to check it, and randomly in the stash was one of these pouches. This game honestly forces me to practice letting go of shit. Socrates, I can handle... I can handle a death. The deaths I can't handle is when I play badly. And that happens a lot, you know? It does. I, I, I make mistakes like everybody does. But I... I... I get so angry at myself. Not like crazy. I'm, I know there's much worse streamers than me. There's, there's streamers that will go absolutely fucking mental and be throwing stuff around and slamming stuff, breaking keyboards, breaking mice, like screaming, cancelling the stream and all that. I don't get that bad, but I literally berate myself for like half an hour to an hour over and over and over again, you know, like... I'm not so bad, like, breaking shit, you know. I am wearing a splint. Yes, I am, Devi, yeah. Shadow, the, the, the punch card only spawns on the zombie with the green surgeon's hat. So the, uh, the captain zombie, basically. I'm back to play Day Z year ago. It's become my daily routine. Two hours of running and four hours of lay down prone in same position watching Mill Zone for unlucky peeps to come by. But when TRMZ guy streams. <sighs> right, let me catch that again. <laughs> Physics. He always breaks his legs anyway. Yeah, that's true. Well, I definitely die quite a lot, Physics. Maybe I get lucky and you're not in while I'm dying. It's been pretty solid on this server for the last day or two. I feel like I shouldn't say this. My lean's just broken again. I feel things are going a little better in some ways. I don't think I'm shooting all of a sudden like Tope or anything. I don't feel I'm getting stream sniped yesterday and today. And I think that's a big difference. I don't think I'm meeting people all the time, like, out of the blue. Sorry, guys, I have a problem with my Corsair mouse. I just had to fix it. I don't want that great big bag. I'd rather have the ruined bag. I'd r the ruined bag's just nice. So that bag's too bright. I can't see behind me. That bag's not a first-person bag. It's a terrible bag. You're playing first person and you're looking over your shoulder. You can't see behind you and that's no, that's... I'd rather have a ruin bag, basically.
So I can do this. I can do levels 1 and 2 only. You have to be really quick with this because if you're trying to do level 2, you can get stuck. You know. You have to run into level 2. Do it as quick as you can, basically. This takes five minutes to uh, I think I'm going to wait for the door to shut. I don't really want to, but when when it closes, it's going to be. I want to be sure nobody else has turned up. Steve, thank you for the gifted sub. Physics, thank you again. Bikini, uh, Charlie, thank you very much too. Uh, yeah, that's what I just said, Noke. If you go for level two, you can't do level three on your own. But if you go to level two and you're in there for too long, you get trapped. Can you see yourself working on a radio station? Funky, I doubt it. I, th I feel like I could probably do something like that. But I don't think radio stations are looking for twats like me, and I understand why. You know, they they want people that know radio, and I don't. But I think I, I think I'd probably be better at some kind of like talk thing. You know, like a like a phoning thing. I think I'd be good at that. Like random people phoning in. Yeah, you, know, you get those crappy shows where that, I'd be a crappy show basically. But they like, people ring in to talk about something. I think I could be good at that. Where people uh, like want to talk about a particular topic and then I reply and whatnot that would be fun uncle food I think it's I think it's not very far a couple of, they'll hear it at the top of the hill and within a couple of hundred meters I think Samaritans <laughs> I was thinking more like talk radio yeah the, the, the honest truth is though uh, I don't know how I put this really but I'm better off doing this you know like if I don't think they'd pay me enough to stop doing this, if you know what I mean. I'd, I'd be, I'm better off doing this. However, I might not have to do, like, five and a half days, six days a week. Uh, not podcasting, no. I did think earlier, I was, I was, I had to go out this morning. I was out in the car for a couple of hours. And uh, I, while I was driving, I did think I would quite like to do a weekly podcast, but I don't know what on, and I also don't know how I'd get the time. It wouldn't be that kind of phone in, Jay. <laughs> I don't want to do watches. It's too niche. I'd rather do something that's... Uh, I, l I really like the subject, don't get me wrong, but it's too niche for a podcast. And there's already good ones out there as well, but... 
That's that's true for any subject, though. Any subject you can think of, there's already podcasts. You just have to do one that's different. Yeah, JSOX, I'm holding out for Radio 2. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do a football podcast about Liverpool, no way. I couldn't do it because I'd just get stick forever because my accent doesn't make me sound like a Liverpool fan. And I've never seen him play live. I just wouldn't, I would never do that. There could be people inside, but it's incredibly unlikely. I suppose that's not true. I'm on a very busy server. People could come in from, from behind, you're right, but I don't know, I guess there's probably not too many people that have had punch cards yet, you know? But I haven't got time anyway, you know, like... On, on the subject of time, guys, I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming Friday. But tomorrow, uh, like, I'm, I've got to take my missus to a, an appointment. Uh, I know she's not pregnant, before someone says. Uh, it's right in the middle of the day, and earlier I said to her, Oh, by the way, I'm not streaming tomorrow. I know I said it'd be a day off, but I'm probably going to need to be on the PC for a couple of hours. Uh, I've got no video for Sunday, right? So I want to edit a little video for Sunday. Uh, I got the footage. I've had no time. One day off on Saturday. I've, I, I got the footage Friday. Had a day off Saturday. Uh, I had to do something Saturday as well. I can't for the life remember what it was. God, my brain. But since then I've been streaming every day. So tomorrow I've got to try and make some kind of video for YouTube. And yeah, if I added layers of things like podcasts to it as well, I'd be proper fucked. Def, yeah, I've got I've got the relevant forms. See, I was going to do unedited. I had a really good adventure with Sour Sweet uh, on a helicopter, but I've actually sent it to on Cooper for editing. It felt too good for that, so I'm going to edit it. I think it deserves to be edited. I'm going to easily miss stuff here. This level is kind of crap. Best we can hope for, really. And across both levels is like maybe an M79. Grenade launcher, possibly... Uh, possibly some extra grenades. That would be good. Well, not extra. I need shitloads of grenades, but that's what I'm after. Lots of bullets is good. And we really are getting a lot of bullets. A lot of, a lot of bullets. I'm going to need to start eating some space in my inventory, I think. Did you get to make the flagpole? Nope, I, did, I found the armband in a little stash of loot in a bush. I didn't find the flag. I was lucky. Oh, look, there we go. I, didn't, I nearly missed that. Yeah, I didn't find what I was after where you would expect to find it. I just found it randomly really lucky. Somebody else's dropped stash. I'm going to regret this when it turns out there's a player here all along. I miss bullets. 
I need to know where they are, I guess, but... Right side, left side. Shelves. Okay, they're probably at the back then. I thought I clicked those, but yeah, you're right. I absolutely did. I missed those. Maybe I just missed them. Maybe there was two. Yeah, I've got 80, so yeah, that's good. I'm going to keep eating some more inventory space. I've not heard the lip smacking sounds, thankfully, but. Well, maybe not thankfully, but yeah, I've not heard them yet. And how many bullets with a FAMAS is it going to take to break a base wall down? It's going to be like 200 at least, isn't it? I think 200 is not even enough. It'll be more than that. that you, Muller and Sarah, on the flag? Yep. Yes, -um. I, I maybe could drop one of those as well. Yeah, you're right. Holy duct tape, Batman. Yeah, I need grenades and claymores, really. That, that would be the... To be honest, grenades more than claymores. I don't think claymores are actually that brilliant. They don't do a great job. Oh, that, that's, that's a new bag. That's the Hannah's backpack. That's only if you're playing vanilla. It's only on Livonia, I believe. Looks the same. No, it doesn't, dude. It's the same shape, but it's got like extra things on it. It's got a tape, obviously, some stickers, a skull. It doesn't look the same. A daisy, and stop saying, okay, okay, okay. Generous flag. It's got extra things. Is this vanilla? Yep. I think it's more than six nades now, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's eight, nine, or ten. <laughs> yeah, ten. Well, I know it's ten. I've done it myself. It's ten grenades. thought it would go on that vest spot. Been a while since I carried those. It's time to start 
So I'm trying to put all of these, these can these ones here, all of those can explode if they're not in a protector case. So if I put the uh, gold tops on here and they were to get shot, they, they will they will explode. So I'm trying to avoid that happening, obviously. Yeah, most grenades can't, but those can. I dropped one cleaning kit, big Kev, I've got two. I dropped one with one use left in it. I've got two. I could use it on the old mag, which I probably will in a minute, but I've I, I dropped one. I've got the one that's got lots of uses left in it. Well, uh, stashed, I'm hoping to use this as much as I can to get in the base, yeah. I think at the moment my best bet is going to be a combination of bullets and grenades, but it won't get me through, it'll get me through one, but it won't get me through both. Even the loading the org up, I think the FAMAS is the, uh, the better gun for it. in here. I'm starting to wonder if I should... I don't think I saw any of that sight. I'm starting to wonder if I should pick up the VSS rounds as a means to try and do more raiding with that as well. Babylon, well, uh, maybe, but I, I don't really, like I was just saying, I don't really want to use the Org for base raiding because it's weaker than the FAMAS. So, like, per 5.56 five, round, I'm better off shooting the FAMAS. I'm not going to probably, I'm not probably going to use the Org at all. I'm going to use the Org for players. And so I've only got one FAMAS mag, but I don't really mind. I'll, I'll just go with it and I'll, I'll see if I can... So if it, what, I'll, what I want to do, and I doubt I'll do this, but I want to try and get enough grenades to break the outside one. If I can get enough, that's going to be a big ask. I need like 10 grenades, but... What I'd like to do is be able to break the outside wall with grenades and whatever else I can. Claymores or whatever I can find. And then I'll try to do the internal wall with the FAMAS because I'll be inside. The zombies can't get me. Us, please may I see the armband. Well, seeing as how you are so politely, the best view of it is there. That. That's the best view of it. Seeing it like this doesn't show it how it looks on the arm. You can only actually see Sour and uh, Muller. My character's around the back with his uh, splint on. But here you can see you can see all three of us. It's cool, actually. I like the colours. I think it's nice. I like short shorts. God, this is definitely smelling like 556 for base raiding then. Holy shit. So, uh, here's a question. Does it, does this, is this information on Wobo's thing or anything? How many shots with a FAMAS to break through a base wall? Does Wobo have that kind of information on his website? If someone could go and find out, accurate, accurate answer only, uh, don't just make it up. That would be good. 
what am I doing here? I'm going to fix something. I'm going to fix my face mask. Seven shots. It's not meta gaming, Mint. It's it's information that, like, well, I guess it is in a way, by the way, dude. But everybody uses Wobo's website. You know, it's it's not like it's exclusively for me, is it? Oh, is this this is the door we need? So this was my lights out spot for about an hour and a half. Oh, I, I, my my guess is somewhere between three and four hundred bullets. I think it's going to be a lot. A hell of a lot. Pressure, I'm not I've not got the flag as much. I think Muller's got one on the mug. So you can buy the mug from Muller. I'm not gonna start trying to sell the same merch as Muller, that would feel a bit shit. So if you would like a mug with that that uh, flag on, you can get it from Muller's merch store. That's what I was saying, special, yeah. Well, I've got the FAMAS, Jay Grand, as the, as the spare gun. That's why I've got, got, got the FAMAS. Five Claymores, DT, feel good. What, what does it say about 556 five, then? I missed that bit. At me if you can. It's not five grenades, Gizmo. It's definitely more than that. Zav, yeah, it's been it's been spoken about. Famas is more powerful than the Orc, yeah, so for base raiding it'll be better. See, this is the... I guess I, it's not going to be easy to get help on this... Seeing someone saying I see 219 bullets per fence, I see someone else saying 382. The only the only place I would trust personally is Wobo's website. Any post could be out of date from like 117 and now they've changed it. Wobo's website will get up to date with every patch, so that's the only place I'd be inclined to. Uh... I'm not leaving all of this stuff, I'm coming back for it. I'm just getting some space and some stamina. If that's recent, that might be up to that might be good bikini. Yeah, three years ago is not any good. That's what I'm saying, bikini dude. That things change so quick. That's why I'm saying go to Webo's website. Five hundred bullets. Fucking hell. Wobo did a video, no website. Okay, I wondered if there were stats for it. I, that is a bit uh, that is a bit specific for stats, I think. Right, so I have not got long here. Level two is only small, but I might try to do it in place in parts. I might not get this all done. Level three is where the best loot is, and I can't do it on my own. 
Now I'm wet as well, so I'm, I've got less stamina, which is annoying. I think you've got to hit the frame and the slats, as far as I know, yeah. That will help. That will help quite a bit. fucking around with EpiPens. You can't base raid with EpiPens. Plate carrier there. That's my lot. Shit. I'm worried I'm going to get stuck. I've been too long. did it. We're okay. Oh, fucking hell. Winnie's, it's definitely more than six grenades, dude. That's just not cr true. That's not accurate, dude. I don't know where you're getting your information from, but that it's more like 10 or 12 grenades. I've done it myself in recent months. It's definitely not... It, it might be three claymores, maybe, but I doubt it. It's definitely not six grenades, though. Like, I can't say again, like, how much it matters that you, uh... You take... <laughs> the Wobo video probably is the best, best source, like... Like somebody else just said. Me and my GF love your stream. Keep it up, dude. So if these count for two grenades, then that's uh, that's uh, two, four, six grenades. If that counts as two grenades as well, that that's nine, that's eight grenades. It's possible we've got enough explosives to do the outside wall, but then we need something like 500 rounds to do the inside wall, and we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, and... 20 minus 4, 216, 
236 plus 90, 336 326 plus 25 more, I've got about 350 and I need more bullets and I've got loads of bullets Can you only blow that with... Can you blow that by exploding it with other things? I, I know you can't shoot that to explode it, but will it explode with a detonator like that? So that's not even any, any use unless I get a detonator. So we've got other things to try and find and no space to put the fucking stuff either. Running. Can I help but think I'd quite like to have one of those. You can't reuse it from the Claymore Jack. I kind of think I should take those out. If I could find a Mosin, I could use a Mosin to do a lot of the base raiding, you know. I, I, I think I've got nearly enough to get through the first wall. And if I can carry these and find a Mosin, we could use a Mosin to do a lot of the base raiding. Mosin's powerful, right? Plastic extraction, plastic explosive like the one I've got here is powerful, yes, it's very good. I probably didn't need to use, I, I used three and I think I killed him with the third and I threw the last just to be sure, I kind of wish I hadn't, and that, that would have been good. Where's he? Different floors. There's no. There's no uh, deflections going to occur with the explosives. 258 Mosin bullets. Well, I've got a hundred. So if if I can get a Mosin, I'm a fair whack of the way there. Excuse me, is this the way out or the way in? I can't remember. I think this is the way in, isn't it? I need to go the other way. It's possible the two grenades I threw might have done a tiny bit of damage, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, the wall is outside of that room, and I think there was a closed door between, so I doubt it. Mike, well, it doesn't matter if I, like the FAMAS, I could, I think I only need one. I, I can shoot that FAMAS uh, until I've got no more 556 five, bullets, I would suspect. Because it's, it's worn and the mag is worn. Like, I, I doubt I have to, re re I doubt I have to fix them both. Like, if I wait till they're all badly damaged and then fix them back up to worn, I suspect that'll be enough, you know, like, I feel like by the time it's badly damaged, both gun and, and mag. I'll have fired four mags worth, at least, maybe more, and then I can fire four more mags worth, you know? I ate Watford, so you've actually found the info on Wobo's website then, yeah? That, that's good. Still a bit more looting here. I'm on a mission to raid daily, yeah, just I'm not sure me on my own is enough. I'm already 
really thought it was that way. Where's the goddamn exit, boy? What, what about if I shoot them, dude? Surely they'll... Oh, there, it's here. Surely they'll explode, explode if I shoot them, FIFA. Can't I shoot them and they'll explode, right? They just ruin. Since when? That sucks. Six claymores. Well, I've got three. It was a. It wasn't a claymore. If it was a claymore, I'd be dead. It was a mine. I can't even get him back inside because the door will have closed. It did sound good, didn't it? It did. Yeah. It would probably have ruined my chainmail pants as well. Go dig up your lights out stash for explosive. They're not ruined. Christ, I'm gonna be low on bandages in a second. Oh I'm okay, I've still got four. It might be brave, but I've got to fix my leg as quickly as possible. I feel that's better than doing anything else. It's, at least it's dark, but if I don't fix my, fix my leg as quickly as possible, I could end up getting overrun by zombies, never mind players. Always look down when you're walking out the bunker. Feel good, that makes sense, but then there's a dude there. and I should have opened the door and looked down first, you're right, but I'm so, I was so worried about players. Everyone could do that. Even if you live by that rule, you could still do it, if that makes sense. You know, you, it, it's easily done. Obviously, I wish I'd uh, checked more thoroughly. MGD, uh, you won't have got four, dude. Well, you might have got four ads, but not 30 second. Maybe four 20 second ads, but I only play 90 seconds of adverts. I don't play two minutes of ads, so you might have got four, but not 30 seconds each. Ooh. Are they more powerful than a grenade or the same? We need 12 total, yeah, that makes sense.
<laughs> I love it when I ask a question like that. More powerful, more powerful, more powerful, same. <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess we'll, uh, we'll live and learn, I think. Field general, now we've got all bases covered, that makes sense. I'm not running anywhere, am I? They could, of course, be back at the base again, couldn't they? I don't think these guys are going to be giving up. When we get there, we might have to kill them. And I'm going to be this fucking heavy when I get there as well. I don't have a light, dude. This is part of the the game. It's a it's a personal night light. So the the light that you're seeing there is not. No one else can see it. It's something that the true vanilla version of the game has, but a lot of community servers turn it off, and you only notice it really in first person because it's darker. I die for a bag of chips right now. Still hoping we'll sneak one more grenade or something. I wish I'd picked up picked up the uh I wish I picked up the pox grenade for the uh, M79 now, but I just didn't have the space. And there's no way I would have known I was going to find one, you know, it wasn't worth the risk. Or it wasn't worth the space. How's the learning curve for this game? Uh, it's going to take you a few hours, to say, to say the least, to get used to the survival. There is a bit of a learning curve to the survival. Uh, but you can get the basics to survival down fairly quickly. The, the thing that's going to take you longer is learning the maps. And you can use an external map to try and help with that if you wish. You know, like, a, there, is, there isn't there is an in-game map that you always have. You have to go and loot one. So it can be really fun to just play and just explore around. And then when you find an in-game map, then you can start orientating yourself. But if you don't have the time for that or the patience, you can use, like, an external website map if you want on your phone or your second monitor. I guess I could load the launcher for two extra slots, yeah, I suppose so. Oh god, this feels so risky. I'd like to... Like, this is meta, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Oh, fucking hell, my, my new bag got ruined. Where on Livonia? I, I can't say this clearly enough. Try your best. Anybody that actually knows the answer to this, don't guess. Where the 
explosives and the detonators to spawn for that. I might, my, my, off the top of my head, Silla Factory would be the place I'd go, but I didn't see any there yesterday. Well, that's the thing, though. It's it's not just industrial, because even on Cherno, some industrial doesn't spawn it. There are specific spaces where it spawns. Quarries make sense. Nadbor would be a good shout, wouldn't it? Quarries make does make sense. rounds have I got I think I need every blaze round I can get God, I am a heavy boy. What do I think Livonia is mid in, missing? Tyronite. There's actually a 15 minute video on my channel where I talk about what Livonia is missing. Now, that was before they did the patch that they did, which improved some of it. But uh, there's like literally a 15 minute answer to that question on, on YouTube, which is probably better than anything I can give you now. Acid, yeah, that's where I was thinking of going. The, the, I, I think we went there. We went there looking for that sort of stuff when I played with Sour as well, and and Muller. That's where we were going for that kind of stuff. So that would have been my my guess, but it seems so long since I last played this map. Thing is, there's so many zombies there, and I'm triple gunning, so I almost don't want to do it. I think I might just go with what I've got. Like, the claymores add up to uh, six grenades, right? Three claymores adds up to six grenades. Then I've got two. Uh, I've got two of these. That's that's eight grenades. We're nearly through. That that's a long ways through, I think. It wouldn't be shooting very much of the support, and then we'd be in. Can I just dropped a canteen, Quantum. I just dropped my canteen. That's why it appeared in the vicinity. I feel like I'd be better off going back with what I've got, but that is such an OP thing. If I can get the, the explosive for that, I think that on its own, plus the claymores, would get me through the first one. And I killed somebody yesterday that had one of those as well. I didn't loot it, but I did kill someone with one. I'm not paying attention to where I'm going, to be honest. I don't even know where the road is. Is there? I haven't crossed the road, have I?
Yeah, I know that mountain goat. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying the claymores and that on its own would probably do it. Yeah, I also did this thing that as well, Desolate. Like, use the plastic, use the gold tops, and then save as many claymores as I can. No, the C4, the C4 requires a detonator, which I think is quite realistic. Like, you can't just burn C4 and make it ignite. You need a detonator, I believe. I'd still need a detonator, Jack. So, yeah. Oh, fuck me. I've kind of lost my way a little bit here. I wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, Dolnik's way too far away for me. Oh, but I don't think it does. I don't think that's a true theory at all. I think it just gets ruined. That's true. I could use an alarm clock. If I found a yellow box, I could use an alarm clock. Let's face it, I'm probably going to get swiped by zombies and die anyway. Winsor says, I'm pretty sure you can use the detonator from the plastic explosive and don't need anything else. Winsor, it's not the same detonator it that's that's not true that when you loot a detonator in the game it's got two parts when you loot a separate detonator it's got two parts to it two parts right when you use it on the on the c4 it puts one part in the c4 and then the other part of the detonator is what you have left like you'd have with the claymore the claymore has that second part built in so the Claymore detonator doesn't work. I'm 99.999 recurring sure of it. Because when you loot a, a separate detonator, it's got an extra like green slab of uh, circuitry. That's the bit that goes in the gel ignite. How many more names can I give this? Gollum, thank you very much for the for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. I, I do. That's incredibly kind. Thank you for the doubling, double gifted subbing, dude. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the support. Who was what was your name before it became AI Gollum, dude? It was a different name. I I feel. Uh, thank you very much, Drew Burnst. Thank you for the resubs. Don't say if you don't want to. By the way, if you want to keep it on the download, that's fine. You know. I don't know where I am at the moment. Love this dream. Right, my legs healed. Now I can run. I know. There's the road. Can't believe I had space for the splint. That's madness. It is new, yeah. It's uh, it's like uh, your leg's weak, it's healing, be careful kind of warning. It would burn but not explode. Interesting, dude. I think you do need an electrical repair kit to make it, yeah. The gamma isn't up, actually. That's a good shout. I didn't put the gamma up because uh, 
it, I was using the head torch and I was underground, you know, it seemed okay, but when we came outside I forgot something to do with the mine. Have I found the flag yet? Stone. I found the armband. I found someone else, someone's discarded armband of it. So yeah, I did get it. That's cool. <sighs> I feel like we're so close. Hey Kiwi, you're right, dude. Coops, thank you very much for the four months. Oh, yakety, how amazing would that be? It might have done a little damage to the top one unhinged up, yeah. We're not going back to the base yet, Hyper Pro. I think we're going to be a while before we get to the base. I am trying. I'm going to try and go to somewhere to try and find a detonator for this. That is the that is the key, right? That counts as six grenades, I believe. So if we can use one plastic explosive, we can then use two claymores and these two, and we'll be do we'll be through the ground floor, which will leave me one claymore to start the top wall. And then I can start shooting it with the FAMAS. And if I can find a Mosin along the way, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to carry it, but... Uh, nonetheless, that's the plan anyway, you know. I'm going to try and do that. I'm doing all of this prep work. When we get there, they'll probably be, the group will probably be at the base and I'll just get killed anyway, you know. I'm on for a decent time. Uh, hopefully, if it gets late, like proper late, I might have to stop and then restart this attempt on Thursday. Downside to that being that some other fucker could raid it before I get the opportunity, so we'll see. There, I, I don't know that it's the same group. I have a funny feeling it might be, but when we met them yesterday, they were uh, they were talking in VoIP, whereas today I don't think they are. Greetings. I'd like to try and do it today if I can, but that's the problem. I, I need to be able to use this to really feel like I can actually get through the base. I want to be able to try and do it properly, right? So I'm going to go to Nadbor Industrial, but from here to Nadbor Industrial, I think it's going to take me 20 minutes. 20 minutes looting. I think it'll take me at least an hour to get to the base, and that's, like, overly optimistic. I don't have any food. I, like At some point, I'm going to have to stop to get food. I did just eat a can attack back, but... I'm struggling. I'm really heavy as well. There's nothing I can do. Like, these are four kilo, three kilos each, sorry. I'm wearing the eight kilo pants that are now ten kilos because of the contents as well. My plate carrier is twenty kilos, but then that includes these two as well. Basically, I, I can't get any stamina back no matter what I do, so I'm a slow, slow, slow player right now. Mind you, I am jogging when I could be run jog, run jog, which I'm going to do now. Slow here, it doesn't work. We've, we've gone over this a few times, by the way, but yeah, you can't do that. You have to have the detonator. Why not stash all your base raiding gear? Because we're not near the base. Like, Nadbor's kind of... It's a bit of a triangle, but we could probably go to Nadbor and then go where, we, where I want to go. If I stash it near the base and then go to Nadbor, it's going to take way longer. So if I'm going to do it today in one go, I need to do it in one journey, otherwise I can't. 
I don't really want to leave it till Thursday, because if I do that, then uh, somebody else might have raided it. I'm working on it, Twitchy. I've got lots of explosives and lots of bullets, but I need a detonator. Yeah, sorry, I'm saying Thursday. I mean Friday. Yeah, you're right. I am off tomorrow. So if I can't do it today, it'll be Friday. So two days away. Funny enough, I was thinking tomorrow was Wednesday and I'm off tomorrow. Today's Wednesday. And that shows you how my brain is. Good to be here. Raid them. Call heart. What's that? The top of the bin. It's still gas. I thought perhaps we could loot the houses we can see and get like a cheeky grenade. We found a grenade here yesterday. My big concern right now is zombies though. If I aggro Zeds, I've got no way to get a melee weapon. Wildcats, I'm only going to do it the ones where I, yeah, like where I need to use it. You're right, yeah. I had steps. I might not have heard steps though. If if only one or two of you heard it, then it's less likely I did because I have my sound so fucking low. bullets is three bullets. I think I'm going to check this house and then we're going to move. Keep up the great work. Cheers. Spencer, dude, thank you very much. Cheers for the 13 months. Paul, thank you very much as well. Coops, thank you very much too. I 
I'm not... Oh, kicked off the game for unstable connection. Well, that's marvellous. If they were watching my stream, they wouldn't be dead like they were, DJ. I, if you check the last kill, there's no way someone watching the stream would do that. At least we know we'll get back in without a, without a queue now, because they're, uh, the server's night time. I just got a bit flummoxed by the fact that something had dropped when I logged back in, but as my bags were in, the GPS went on the floor. I'm going to drop that. I never break my leg. I don't know why I really made the splint, to be honest. It's just not something I'm going to need. Bias, well lucky you, you lucky bastard, you. Am I right in thinking this road leads to uh, leads to Nadbor? If I follow this road, it just leads to Nadbor, doesn't it? I look, and I had to take them off to get on that roof because they're heavy. Oh, Riddled is just saying the same. My pants are ten kilos when wet. And I needed to be able to leap. I was on top of a roof and I needed stamina, so I took the pants off. I looked for players earlier. I've given up. I love the waiting room bossa nova TRMZ theme song. Uh, Nero, I can't... Uh, my GPS will tell me where I am. It won't show me the map, though. I'm pretty sure we can just follow this. I think it takes me. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it does. We'll just follow this, and it'll take us through to Nadbor. It's a dangerous route, but... It could be 556 five, at that. I don't think I want to deal with the Zeds, though. Oh, dude, thank you for the bits. I love the waiting room boss and over TMZ theme song. Thank you. Cheers for the support, dude. Airport's kind of that way, not that far, but they've ma they've massively improved nighttime on True Vanilla, by the way. True Vanilla Vanilla nighttime is way better now. For those, and it's it's really dark still. But it's really dark for about 20 minutes, and then the sun starts coming up. You get quite a long dusk, and then you get 20 minutes or so night, and then you get 20 minutes of dawn, so it just feels better. You can see the sun gradually rising. It's really much better, I think. days in Belfast. Uh, Paul, dude, thank you very much. Uh, good to be here. Raid them. I hope I hope I can, dude. That, that would be cool. This is coming up to uh, a key moment in episode three of... Uh, if I'm on the road, I think I'm on. Episode three of Lights Out. Like, if we keep going on this road, we'll go past a saloon on the left after a while. Uh, and then after that, there's a bit where I had to go have cake because of the dog. That's coming up along this route. Interestingly enough, I, I, I learned this when... The, the steps that we hear in episode 3 were in that saloon. And uh, 
Muller hears some steps. That was Mr. OG. I, I watched back later on. I watched back to see what was going on. Mr. OG just went, ran past our building and carried on. There's also a potential uh, uh, convoy spawn up here. How lucky would it be if we got there and there was a convoy and the convoy had an SVD? That would make raiding a little bit easier. Convoy is a vanilla feature, Nick. Yeah. About four million points on the line. What is it? What is the challenge? Can I survive or what? If it's can I raid the base, that's a stretching one. Holy shit. Okay, so it's will I successfully raid the base? <laughs> I never saw that chaos. How can the chainmail clothing be fixed? It, it uses the pliers, the in-game pliers. Dell, I do, I do. I, I like think about what could happen and then hope it will. I, I think I read the other day that you deal in gold, right? So... Like, if you think that some mug will come in tomorrow des desperately to sell you brand new memorial sovereigns for, for £220, like, full sovs, you know, you, 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 you might make it happen, you never know. <laughs> Tape, I, I don't know how I do that, dude. I don't know how I... Maybe you can send me a whisper if you know of a way, but... I don't know how I make it so I can still hear footsteps, but make the rain quieter. I don't know how that's possible. Because they both seem like... They, they don't seem like they're going to be apart on the spectrum or the on the range in a way that will work, if that makes sense. That's, that's Swarog. Well, I wasn't expecting to get to Swarog. I think I had to turn left on one of the roads. Oh, well, that's fine. I can find my way from here as well. We'll just go this way. So we're not going to see the convoy now. Yeah, f f f an honest man of you as well. I know what, only know what they are because uh, I, I keep getting fucking offers on uh, Instagram for some unknown reason. I, I think it's Instagram or somewhere, Facebook, buy a whatever. And also like buy a Franklin Mint. I, don't know, I ain't got time for that shit. You, you can't wear that on your wrist. <laughs> it was a three-man team sour. I think Hey Bambi was in that team. The one where I was in the shed. I think that was Hey Bambi's team, I think. We'd held him up the day before. If you, if you watch that bit back in the video, there's an overhead bot and it's got the names of the other players. I can't remember the other two, but I think it was Hey Bambi and two other players. Red starred. Da, da, da. Only got the armband, but we did get the armband. I don't know, Nero, but I, I, I was really concerned about that. They did say, I, I think I talked about it on my uh, stream while we were Drinking doing it. Tea. Enjoying the stream. I will have moaned about it being copyright music, or I hope it's not copyright, because that could spoil an amazing video. Uh... But thankfully, it wasn't. Co it was copyright free. Who ran over me yesterday? No idea. When he's, I sincerely doubt it was a streamer. Let's get this raid. Hopefully. So you don't buy them. You don't buy them if, like, so you don't buy them on a chain. 
Yeah, a few people have mentioned Tina Turner. It's sad. I think that's it over there. I think that's the spot where we died. That those trees look the right. Those trees look right. Well, maybe not. I think it is. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was AFK in that big one there. Maybe not. Actually, I think I might have made that up. Oh my god. Mind those kids when I go to work, Shane. I know you're in here. <laughs> Pasta Destroyer. Well, that, that's a new one for me. Shane, you've been told. None. I normally stop about 10pm, which is in half an hour, but we'll see how I go, because I'd quite like to try and... Uh, I'd quite like to try and get to the base. an epic run today. Uh, not died all day. 7 hours 45 minutes in. It's been great. Scooter, I, I don't plan if a team up very far in advance, but I'm sure there will be one at some point soon, yeah. But I, I give this answer to every, every one of these questions, but... Uh, I, I, I don't have a great deal of time to send messages, so I tend to wait for people to ask me and then I just say yes. When it's the people I normally play with, I mean, you know. I died once an hour in. I think you're right, but I don't really remember it. Oh, yeah, you know, you're right, I did. I ran back, didn't I, Griff? You're right, I did. Of course I did. I died, but ran back and then ended up with all of the gear. That was incredibly lucky. Yeah, Muratin. Yeah, of course you're right. Matt, right now I'm not looking to team up with anybody that I've not already played with. Uh, not because I'm, I, I like what they do, but I've got a group of people that I play with fairly regularly. Uh, and much like everybody else that ever plays Daisy, I'd kind of like to keep to playing with the people I know for a while. You know, In 2021, I played with a load of people I'd never played with before and had some really good streams. One that springs to mind off the top of my head was a 10-hour stream with uh, uh, Teaspoon. TSP Bobby. Uh, that that was a great stream, but I can't keep doing that forever because there's only one of me and there's like hundreds of Daisy streamers. So I, I kind of, when in 2021 when I did that, I felt that I didn't play with the regular people I normally play with as much. So I kind of tried to get back to that. I don't want to play with no new kids, old man. So, well, that, that's your way of looking at it, Scooter, but I'm sure you game with your mates, right? That's not an old man's thing. It's a common thing. If you had, if you had a hundred random people ask you to ask to play Daisy with you over the course of a month, you'd say no, dude. You wouldn't say yes, would you? Now, Freshborns aren't random. They're amazing dudes, right? But that's not. That's by the by. The point still stands, you know. Yeah, we're getting near the start of another month, that's true. Oh, so I've managed to make it to... This is feeling dicey. I think I'm going to go around that side. We've got to go to the northeast. I'm going to go around the side of it. Danger Squirrel, I'm not stashing anything, because if I die, I'm not going to run back. You know, like, I either make it or I don't. There's no, there's no running back to get the loot. I either make it or I don't. And I enjoy the team-ups I do, you know. I enjoy the team-ups I do. Uh, I, I messaged some a few people a couple of years back and politely kind of said, uh, I'm not convinced our play styles mash, mash, mash as well as they might, you know. Uh, can we put them on the back burner just for now? And I, th I think that kind of makes sense, you know. Like, 
I try to play with the people where I, we we have a good mix of like gameplay and whatever, you know. Daily Nomad, by stashing, what he means is hide it in a bush to come back for when I've done the looting bit here. He doesn't mean stash it for a week. He means stash it for two hours. Ben Fruit is a cool dude, Broken Tooth. It, the, the most obvious issue with a, for a team up with him is that he's in Aussie land and his streams are just coming to an end when I'm just about thinking about getting on the PC to think, uh, think about starting, you know, like... Same with Lax, you know, like the one time I played with Lax, I, I started about half past eight in the morning and he went very late himself, you know, and it it's tricky to try and make that work easily. But yeah, like I, I'm kind of cool with the people I'm teaming up with for now, you know. Like I, the reality is, like days like today only happen when you lone wolf. So I tend to lone wolf a lot. There's no team up this week at the, at the moment, you know. Like I tend to lone wolf a lot, and I really enjoy it as well, you know. It you get like we had that cool team up earlier with the dude, you know, the the meow guy. <laughs> like if you if you're playing with another player, you don't get any of that, you know. I, I haven't done many random team ups for a while. But it's nice to do one, you know. It's nice to get another one. I don't do enough of them, really. But sometimes it feels like there's so much stream stalking going on that I kind of just think, oh, fuck it, I won't do any for a while. Am I still in the survivors? Yep. <laughs> new, uh, new manager as of today. Well, new owner as well, but... So, uh, Amish said was running it. Apparently, well, not apparently, definitely. Uh, Juito is in charge as of today, so I, I'm going to have to be careful. I might get myself sacked. Scoots, it might work. They had something similar on, uh, they had something similar on, uh, Rayman. Personally, I, whilst I think that feature makes sense, because in real life you could look at someone and see they'd been shot by a bullet, or you could see gun hole, like bullet holes, or maybe some uh, shell casings on the ground or something, you know, like, in real life you might be able to work out what happened relatively easily, you know, like, somehow in Daisy I quite like that you have to use your Daisy sense to try and work it out, you know, like, how were they facing, what way did they fall? What, what piece of clothing is damaged and so on, you know. I, I quite like that you have to try and work it out somehow, but it might work. Turn the camera off. It's already off, dude. It's just pastily. This feels dangerous. some stamina. I am lucky he missed.
It's time to start running! I don't know how he tracked me round there. I don't know how he did that. How did he miss the first shot and then hit that one? That's insane. I don't know how... I'm not saying he's stream sniping, by the way. I suspect that's not the case, but maybe there was several, but... Or maybe he flanked round to the right to see me and I just happened to poke up exactly where he could look, but... Um... Uh, that sucks. That was such a fun run. I'm gutted about that.